What's up, fool? What's up, fool? Podcast. We're back, people. We took a, a week off. No, we were here last week, right? Yeah, with Kuko. We were with Kuko, of course. Show. It was a that badass was fun, show, man. Dude. Kuko and crew. Seven, it sounded so good. 1,700 hours and Summertime. Miss her Little Colita and <laughs> 1,700 hours. And sixteen hundred hours. He's badass, dude. He's good. He's cool. He's gonna bro. blow up. He's gonna be huge. Like from, from LA, man. He, even though if he doesn't, like he, he's already independently huge. Like people know him. Yeah, he's already. He doesn't need to be on the radio. Or like like for that, like man. people showing up to your to your um house to for a, for a for a fucking um backyard show driving five hours from yeah. Utah. Yeah, dude, that's insane. Thirteen hours. He had it at his house. No, he, went, he, had, he said he had a backyard, in backyard party. Oh, it was a backyard party. party. Yeah. And the people came from Utah, Salt Lake City, to, to see the show. But yeah. Homeboy's killing it in Europe, Latin Europe. America, yeah. all yeah. over there, dude. Like, huge, he dude. Tours and it's all, in the, it's all through the internet, you know? He's not fucking... It's not traditional fucking media, which is crazy. Although he dude. was on um, Seth Meyers' show, I think. Yeah, because his new record's on yeah. Interscope, yeah. right? That's yeah. badass, dude, huh? Oh, yeah. Dude. Mad Reach, dude. Cool. He's young, too, dude. We had him here. Yeah. He's your age, right? He's 23, no, he's I think he's he said. like 10 years younger than him. <laughs> There's <laughs> a 10-year <ten-way laughs> gap for everybody. 10-year gap, yeah. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you guys don't... Re- did you guys see him at Tropicalia? I did. Yeah, I, I did. remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I remember. His That's the first time I've ever seen him. across from your um, tent. He yeah. got off real real fast from performing. <clears throat> and my um, my publicist asked me, you want to take a picture with Kuko? I said, sure, I'd love to. He was coming down the stairs. Cuco, Cuco, una foto con Felipe. Una, co- una foto con Felipe. And I was like, damn, bitch, not like that. <laughs> I you thought done it was already shit. like a range of perfect. I could have done yeah, that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah I could have done that, man. Bring him down from the stairs. I'm good at doing that. <laughs> hey, I could have waited inside. I could have been inside the green room drinking everything. Hey, Fo, you basically are your own publicist. <laughs> that night was cool. Bro, he said dude. no. Are you serious? No, no but he didn't. Uh, no, but we didn't take a photo, but it was brief, too brief. Yeah, because I thought in the beginning, because when he was walking in with his crew, like you guys took photos right before you did photos with the the dude from um, the guy that was wearing. He looked like he popped out of the dumpster. The the Johnny? big Mexican guy. Oh, oh this <laughs> boy, not Johnny. <laughs> That Top band. Top Top Cafe Tacuba. Cafe Tacuba. Oh, that guy. He told him it was a fool the guy from Chicano in the Batman. Skirt. Yeah. You thought he was Chicano Batman. I thought he was Chicano Batman, you man. You just called him Chicano <laughs> Batman, though. So Chicano Batman? <laughs> so Chicano Batman. So Salvadoran like... Batman? What? <laughs> 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 Took it all personal and shit. Yeah, he was just, he didn't know what to say, I guess, dude, but. Dude, that was a badass fucking concert, dude. Hey, fool. Remember, dude, we went to go meet the Tigres and, with your mom and your brother. But what's the irony, that? bro. That, <laughs> well, that was a badass backstage I've ever seen. They had a little moat in a lake. Like, what oh. was that? Oh, you mean at Tropicana? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah dude. That's Long Beach. Long Beach. Queen, Queen Mary, like three yeah, yeah. trailers back there, bro. And like... Th- th- they, they had easy access to get the fuck out from that area, huh? Hell yeah. And then, they didn't have to oh, go through bro, all that bro. monster of no people. No way, bro. It was like straight to the stage. They were blazing and shit. <laughs> Remember when uh, they played? Nobody was on that stage, huh, fool? Nobody. They bro. cleared everybody Yeah, out. man. That's the cleanest stage I've ever seen. Momo dude. showed up, bro, with a oh, fucking yeah. horse, bro. <laughs> yeah, take your ass to the bleachers. <laughs> yeah, but he, he came with, uh, what's it called? Uh, through the lake. I'm like, mm. I don't know. How <laughs> okay. I don't want to be all like guy, but it's like, I hate when people like fake lip sync songs. Dude, he was, he was all fake. I was like, you don't know that song, man. Los Tigres, he said, yeah, no, but fake lip oh. sync, you know, because he was all doing videos. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Man. Yeah, man. I don't know how he got in, bro. He, he got he in through, through the, the lake, bro. No, <laughs> the, 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 the Los Puercos guys got him in. And that fool. Who are you? I'm the mascot. <laughs> Yeah, those puerco, I remember that. And then boom. he wiggled all the way to the backstage, the tent. Because I was, I remember I was doing a uh, video that day. I have so much footage I, from Where that is day. It? We never saw that day. <laughs> and then, <laughs> footage from that day? I the know. lost tapes. Yeah, yeah. I, I sent you guys like a little vlog for that day. I remember that. But I. <laughs> <laughs> the a fog was I don't remember feet. a vlog. <laughs> yeah, like 2017. Yeah, 2017. Yeah. Damn. I remember I was on stage filming and I see Momo right there in the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> That was so fun, good. But I have footage uh, of like uh, you dancing with your mom, oh, yeah, your and then uh, we're right there with Los Tigres and the Chicano. Bad. It was badass, dude. We uh, Frankie Quinones rolled up that day. Remember? Frankie was there. Yeah, he rolled up. He said, "What's up? What was he doing remember. there? He just I don't know, just chilling. The all there, him and his sister, or something I don't like remember that. Remember seeing him? Who else, dude? There was a lot, like a lot of dudes that kind of popped out. E Zone popped out. 
Yeah. Yeah, dude. Uh, that was, dude, dude, I've seen a lot of people, dude, and like, and there was fools like asking, could I borrow the wristband? I'm all, if I take it off, oh it'll rip. Oh my gosh, dude. I know, they were super strict with those wristbands. They were crazy. That, that thing was so unorganized, man. Remember the taco lines were all crazy? Oh. Crazy, man. And the, the free tacos were little. Oh, bro, they were like taco sliders. <laughs> yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah, they were good, dog. Were they were good, but dog. they were little, dog. People had everybody that at that place, whether you had the best time of your life, whether you're backstage, everybody had had their own little thing to complain about. But everybody, but the, but the the way, man. First of all, man, who the hell wants to leave a concert where you sat there for ten hours in the heat? You're loaded. You did drugs. And now you gotta board a school bus to your parking spot. School bus, yeah. I remember that. And that the lines sucked. were big for that school bus, bro. No, I wouldn't want to go on a school bus. I, I put my I put my head down and cry, there. dude. Yeah. I took the school bus, dude. Was it horrible? It was, I remember you had to walk over the fucking bridge, go That's back to we, the We pike. saw people walking. I heard yeah. you were supposed to walk. Freeway. Yeah. It was only the bus transportation. The, they were shuttling people we to the We walked parking. towards the pike. I remember that. Yeah, that shit was fucking far. The other dude. thing I remember. The pike was across the lake, right? Two men yeah, tried to get behind us and they let him in. That's far, man. Yeah, that Two men was there and they wouldn't let him in? No, because he tried to park where we parked. They're like, let's see a badge. Oh. He didn't have any credentials, so. I should have let him, man. <laughs> I mean, I could have threw my crutches at them. And yeah. then the other fools were there too. Tropa Magia, dude. They were playing. Yeah. They were loaded. Yeah, bro. Yeah. They were like, they, they were, were so on. loaded. They changed their name after that show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah weren't they the, the comments? The comments. The comments. The comments. <laughs> they, talked, they touched the oh, uh, roots. Yeah, that's true. Because they met the those things too. I think they started tripping. That was that it. Day. Yeah, they said they were on the shrooms. And Kali Uchi wasn't Renee that big too is. at the time. And she was performing there too. Yeah. Still kind of big though. No? Kind of big, she but like big. She was blowing up at that time. Yeah. Yeah, the. um. Celso Pina, almost like his last Celso concert. Pino, so. that was I got a picture of him. Yeah. Brenton was, Woods. He was too. bad. No, that, Celso- was, that was what was so frustrating. Is Brenton Wood played at the same time as all these other people. On the side stage, they were like right? two side or three stage. stages, right? And, and so that did was so the, frustrating. The, I wanted um, to see it. That Oldies But Goodies band played. Oldies But Goodies? Yeah. It's a thin line between love and hate. The, um, the Delphonics. The Delphonics. That's the Delphonics. right, dude. The they they should have been in the big stage. Yeah. They would have killed it. Dude. I know. And do you guys remember uh, when, because that, that concert is pretty much like the first of its kind, like, like you know, like, it's not uh, like, you know, like Latino music and, you know, like English music, like fused Infusing, together. Yeah, yeah. And then there's another festival at the same time going on with like a, but it was like new, a cheap festival. Yeah, though, with like, a fucking too short. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Ramon Ayala was yeah, on that show. It was, it was a, weird. They kind of copied, they're all, let's get the overdraft. They the copy the format. Get That's right. Long that Beach, was sold out. The big boy. Yeah, because yeah. that was sold out. And then I, I guess, you know what I mean? You know, they created a market, dude. Let's get the overdraft for the other people. Thin line is is persuaders, but persuaders. But yeah, Delphonic sang a lot of songs, but they were on the show, not persuaders. Yeah, that's Max Cherry's favorite band, huh? And Jackie Brown, the Delphonics. <laughs> the What's up for the Delphonics? Were there? They sing. That's a hey badass love, show. Hey they love. sing lots of songs. <laughs> Turn off that frown. Where do I begin? You're in love. They sing. Hey, love. La, 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 la. When I heard songs like that. Orale, chamorita. I love you. Hey, when I heard songs like that as a little kid, I thought it was little kids singing. Yeah. When I hear, oh when I hear a song like that, bro, it makes me want to grab a sock with Krylon. Eh? <laughs> See you tomorrow. Start sniffing paint. <laughs> nice knowing you. But don't. I never sniff paint. But everybody that in my neighborhood would grow, like the veteranos, bro, like they would grab a, a boom box. And they'll be jamming too. La 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 means I love pain. <laughs> yeah, P- but only silver and gold. <laughs> Those are the best colors. Also sang that other one. And how about how about gas, yeah. fool? Dude. <laughs> oh, I thought our <laughs> love was true. At the palace, eh? Didn't I love you, baby? Didn't I love you, baby? I saw MC Pancho taking a big dump after eating pizza and calamaris. That's a real bad a big boogie. fat shake and a salad. It's a mad mix right there. Deal with them. All the cultures in one, bro. You need every key, bro. Fucking the, the mix. Our LeBeau mix right there, dude. 
Art Lebeau. <laughs> Art Lebeau. What are they? Art Lebeau. I mean, how many, how many, how many hits Killers? he put out, bro, in those messages? Not even knowing. <laughs> You know, like, you know, all those, cause some of those, some of those dedications come from people from prison yeah. and Cholas who are in Bakersfield. Or LA. We have a, a uh, we have a shout out to Baker from Bakersfield to Sniper and Folsom Prison. Or LA. Hey, man, they said eighteen with a bullet. Eh? Yeah. And then it's a message, bro, to go kill somebody from uh, some neighborhood. Yeah, they put, they put O2 oxygen crossed yeah. out. Shy girl <laughs> says. You breathe she, no longer. She misses you. <laughs> Shy girl. Or, or the, hey, then it was like, that was for like the Mexican-Americans, the, the Chicanos, bro, Art Lobo. But if you want to go for like the the like the more um, crossover, the more for everybody, you will go to Coast 103.5 with Mark Sacleric, Mark Sacleridi, bro. And you're coasting here on Love Thoughts. On the coast with Mark Sacrini. Right now, we have Lisa Esparza coasting right now in San Diego, California. <laughs> and he's thinking about her loved one, Felipe Esparza, who's coasting right now in Pittsburgh and thinking about her also. And she wants to dedicate to him. <laughs> I'm Against the All Odds I'm by the Phil Collins. That's funny. Not on our how level. could this? How could you just walk away, <laughs> turn around and leave me? La 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 la. You're, You're the, the only, only one, one who really knew me at all. Oh. Coast 103.5. <laughs> I always thought this man. Wait a minute, fucking Mark Sacleridi. If this chick is over there coasting in West Covina. And her, her husband is over there coasting in Santa Barbara. I don't think he's coasting. I think he's fucking somebody over there. Right? That's far, bro. That's a long distance relationship, dude. Uh, Around yeah, the man. bends right there. Oh, do, they, do they have that in other other parts of the country? Do they have that in Ohio? Like we're here at the, we're coasting yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, like the easy, well, they had, from see, Africa Ohio, to Cincinnati. we have, um, like Marianne, so it was like the quiet storm. We have Marianne Singleton here is coasting. Did you have quiet storm And she's here? missing her brother who I she's see. madly in love with. Did you have quiet storm here? Which oh, yeah, is like have, the R&B, like the quiet slow storm. dedication. Yeah. Music have, to make love to basically. We had a guy. <laughs> That's all it is. We had a guy here in the, in the nineties. His name was Theo. And for a long time. He used to put black women to sleep over here in South Central. And now uh, hood red Latinas was his voice. What's up, y'all? We're going to slow it down right now. And we're going to put everybody to sleep right now. We got them. Boy, we're going to play some boys to men and slow it down with a little bit of um, Keith Sweat. Here we go with some Art Kelly. It's always Keith Sweat. And it was, <laughs> and Theo ended up being a, a little Filipino dude. Yeah, he was on you power. You got me twisted. <laughs> and when they found out, the ladies didn't care. We That's love that funny, voice, dude. Damn. Hit those frequencies, fool. Those frequencies. In, in, in the Spanish dude. station, they have um, El La Hora <laughs> del Cucuy. Orale. It's always that. That's the fucking funniest show ever, bro. You got people from everywhere calling in about ghost sightings. Yeah. Like dude. every day, it's always ghost sightings. At 9 o'clock. It goes with the night, too, because oh. they used to have a guy. I forgot what station La it was. Hora was de... called El Murcielago, which yeah. is the bat. No, the bat. The bat, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And they're kind of scary when you're driving at night. You're like, fuck this shit, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, playing, the, what, playing the monster mash or what, dude? <laughs> He's more so scared in his car. Oh. You're scared because sometimes I'll be <laughs> driving through the canyons. Dude, and fucking, like, it's like, very character-driven. Like, bro, bro. You're like, fuck, Scooby dude. Scooby-Doo mystery. Totally. Yeah, it's all character-driven. Like, you're uh, driving home on Santa Fe Springs. It's all dark on the five. Oh, yeah, dude. You got to talk about ghost cholos and the Santa Fe Swami, bro. Has there ever been a, a Spanish <laughs> wolfman? El Lobo, bro. <laughs> Radio Lobo. K Lobo. Right? K Lobo, yeah. Listen, Wolfman Jack here, not Beer Run Bobby. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> so funny. I love Somebody Bo said that. Bo he, Bo went, Bo he went from Bad Bunny to Disgruntled Hamster. Well, yeah, look. <laughs> we got to get him a wheel, fool. <laughs> I'm going to shave my head, dude. You got to be yeah, kidding me. So, oh, so I'm going to get rid of You got relaxed. So it's messed up. I got relaxed. He went no, from no, Bad no. Bunny to the guy that sells my beef jerky from Hillshire Farms. <laughs> <laughs> What's that hap what happens when a girl, like, her hair starts she cracking? What's it called? 
Correct. Pelo de mona. Loose ends or what's uh, split dead ends? Split ends. Split 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 so they need to put a relaxer to kind of just get uh, get rid of the. For curls. For a cartoon called Wacky and Packy. But isn't that conditioner though? No, I, I mean c- conditioner can help speed the process. You look dry, of, bro. Of straightening okay. it up. Dude, my hair's always shiny too, man. You know, bro, like you 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 wash your hair in a swimming pool, bro. And let it dry. <laughs> <laughs> you let your hair dry while you're swimming. Dude, I, Salt hair's, water head. My hair's always look I think you should too. just shave. Yeah, I'm gonna. I mean, if you it. like it, go ahead with it. But she if you're upset it, with it, the only way to get rid of those curls. You look like is that caveman right there right now, bro. Wacky from Wacky and Packy right there, bro. <laughs> In the wacky races. That little fool, that little redheaded dude. Are you old enough to know the wacky races, Martin? I've been There's, watching him on Boomerang. Oh. Boomerang was like that's, oh, that's how you what your hair runs. looks like, bro. <laughs> that's not what his hair looks like. Like the little fucking elephant, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Know, you talking about the Hillshire Farms? Uh, there, uh, what's it called? Farmer John's is leaving Boyle Heights or Vernon, dude. Why, fool? They left out your stadium already. They're closing. Oh, oh they're done? <laughs> they're going to... Uh, Nobody get... wants a nasty slaughterhouse in the middle of the neighborhood. I, that shit's so oh, that like a development going to be there now or what? I don't know, but that's gross. I'm always driving by that and there's happy pigs and cows yeah, yeah. running, painted yeah. on the side. No, and you know what's so funny? It's just death. Because <laughs> that Carlita Beach Club is like the same thing, but the guy's chasing him with the knife. I and know, happy, he's chasing him. Like, 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 ah! Or, or, that that feel. or you'll see a, a pig cooking other pigs. And, I know. Like, <laughs> and they're all it's happy. It's a disturbing like, sight. Yeah, always sausage. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> like, dude. Cannibalism, dude. Like, but just like, imagine that little twisted artist's mind. He thought it's all normal, but he's like, dude, this is crazy what you're drawing right here, bro. <laughs> yeah, fuck, dude. That guy's more twisted than Van Gogh, bro. <laughs> imagine, bro, they would have made it look like a prison with barbed wire. Nobody want to eat there, huh? Hell oh, no. Hell no. But I was going to tell you, it's like, maybe we should take a piece of the wall and save it like the Berlin Wall. Fool, put it in the backyard, dog. Because yeah. I, I, I was reading the comments because I want to see you both sides. People are like, oh, that's fucked up. So that's Vernon. That's not Southgate. It's Vernon. It's Vernon. Vernon. Yeah. It's Water Vernon and Boyle Heights. Stuff I'm solo, right? Vernon. Yeah. And it's like El Pato. It's like that company. Right when you start going in there, like if you're about, I don't know. There it is right there. Look. Less than a mile there, you start smelling that it's stuff. It's been there for probably, what, 60 years? That's where John Travolta killed a pig in a movie Carrie to grab the blood. <laughs> it was there? Yeah. You're lying. Really? In a movie Carrie. Oh, yeah. John Travolta went over there to grab th- a pig and killed it. It wasn't set in L.A., was it? It was, it was, it was, it was, it was not set in L.A., but it was, it was shot, shot there. It was shot in L.A. Yeah. Oh. That's crazy, dude. I'm a... Hey, yo. Oh, I didn't know that. I have to watch <laughs> I do that part. Some <laughs> cholos. Like that, hey, my dad will buy that. My dad will drive by that place. My dad will point. You got a lot of pinchy sangre, John Travolta, para la güera. That's bad <laughs> though, dude. If that's where it was filmed, that, that's I, tight. I would hear that uh, uh, Flaco. I think he told me that his grandpa used to work there. So uh, dude, <laughs> he, he is his grandpa. Imagine bringing fucking. He told me like it was. They never that's fucking. That's how you got morphins. They always had carne, you know. <laughs> Those gusanitos, bro. <laughs> Eating that pig juice. <laughs> <laughs> but I heard that people that work there. Morphins. <laughs> when we left him at the airport, like, does anybody know him? And we're walking out, no, but he has morphins. <laughs> Quarantine. I don't know lie, man. When that fool left, left he, when he left that fool at Turmec, they were ro- rolling him away with an ambulance. The ambulance. <laughs> ambulance to get that fool bro on a Turmec by the plane. I just started laughing so hard. Not because it was a fucked up situation. I was laughing about, he can't afford all this. <laughs> Well, it was like, dude, it was know, like the president was like, oh, Tiki, you only got 300 for the gig. Eh? Dude, it's a the ambulance Johnson. pulled up to the tarmac, and then they opened the side door, and they went up a ladder a to the side to get his ass bro, out. Bro, my the dad would have jumped out and just ran out of there, bro, <laughs> yeah. thinking about how much it would have cost. But he knows about that, but he's just too weak to move, because I couldn't even lift him anymore. Just take me. I was like, I can't. He dude, can you're like that. stuck to the seat, fool. Yeah, dude. Yeah, bro, it's crazy. He left his wallet there. It's at Farmer John's oh, money, Lisa, bro. He forgot his wallet on the plane, too. Oh, I know. It's, he's, <laughs> he was, he's he a, was a piece of work. He was a piece bro. of work that Hey, day, fool. Man. But the day before, you were dancing, huh, He was dog? dancing with his wet <laughs> bro. He was, moon, he was dancing like Fred Astaire. He was dancing, he was dancing like, like Chimber, Justin Timberlake, bro. He was, he was like the like Tasmanian <laughs> devil, bro. Just all these twists. He said it was like Jack the old Skeleton. man in the Six Flags. Hell yeah, bro. He was dancing like the old man from Six Flags. I remember I told him, like, I would like hang out with Flacco like around like you know 2000 a lot like around 2010 to like 2014 and remember like, when you go party right he would like buy drinks on stuff and, like, and I told him, Flacco man thanks for buying those drinks like I don't have money Rizzo how the fuck did I do that I was like you're like the mask bro you fucking <laughs> you get drunk you have money you fucking <laughs> This dude, like sometimes we see them party like I was like, bro, this fool must be loaded, bro. <laughs> if Farmer Grand John's bro. black card or something. <laughs> I told him what you do last night, bro. I went to the weekend concert by myself. Oh, you yeah, 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 bro. He had a good but time, he's yeah. one of those fools that'll make friends with people and hang out with them, yeah. dude. Don't hurt him, mate. Hurts. <laughs> 
He's making a comeback, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Stronger talking, than ever, dude. We're talking about Frankie Quinones. Somebody in the comments said he's the one that plays Guillermo's brother in um, What We Do in the Shadows. In the up. new season? In the new season. That oh, was so Felipe, Felipe auditioned yeah, for that dude. spot. He auditioned for that role. I think oh, the it would have been better. The, yeah, the new, new season, season, right? All right. Hell yeah, dude. Right on, man. Yeah, remember his family comes over in that, in that scene? <clears throat> Because the, the season ended with him being shipped to... Who knows where? London. Oh, London. Yeah, my boat. Yeah. Shout out to a, a podcast listener and a big fan that passed away, man. Rest in peace. Luis Cano? Who, Javier? Javier Cano. Cano. Yeah. Yeah, the beer boy. He came boy. to our wedding. He came to our wedding. He was yeah. a beer man. He gives a discount he, he on our alcohol away. for yeah, the wedding. Away. Yeah. Fuck, man, that is away. crazy, man. Like, Just I disappeared. the father's there the day before and then also... also also, away. shout out to a comedian friend of ours. That fool was working security <laughs> when I won last comic standing. And then yeah, he saw yeah. how bad these comics were doing after we left. And he decided to do comedy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true. He was like, I can do shout that Shout out shit, to Oso. He <laughs> passed away in Las Vegas, right? <sighs> yeah, Father's Day, bro. Father's Vegas, yeah. So sad, dude. That sucks, man. I want to um, give some shout outs. Shout out right to now. everybody right now that said, um, if you guys are doing nothing right now, Right now, what time is it right now? It's some, it's some 8.20. If you want to go to a comedy show right now, like 8.20, and you live in the Santa, Santa Fe Springs area, Rosemead, Whittier, Norwalk, if you're looking for something to do right now, they're doing like a, a thing for this comedian oh, named also at Bruce's Lounge in Norwalk. On Bloomfield Where and uh, Imperial. Right. Bloomfield and Imperial right now. If you go there right now, he has a little kid, right? T- tell them he had a son, that you yeah. were sent by the What's Up Food podcast, okay? And they're going to do comedy and drinks. And then after the show, everybody's going to hang out and just talk about the comedian. And it's going to be a, a good time to hang out and get to know some young comics people. All right. Shout out to Vic from the Casa Torres. Vic, He's Vic doing Vasquez. comedy there. What's up? You have a new podcast, right? It's Done Ready, Bros. Ready Bros podcast. How many episodes? 12. 12 now, yeah. We filmed our, uh, we required 12 today, yeah. You gotta come down one day, man. That's what's up, bro. Is it English or Spanish? It's English, English. And then yeah, the yeah. Spanish ones, Los Podcasters del Norte. Los Podcasters, bro. We're trying to have a How about podcast. Your shit? Squad by the Bell, we're coming back full force. Uh, I left my uh, every... full force. I mean, they were gone for uh, 10 weeks. Oh, yeah, I was gone, dude. <laughs> like, full force. Dude. I finally found my password. Uh, like, <laughs> 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 we left San Jose over here, bro. <laughs> We're ready, baby. <laughs> I couldn't lock Coming in. Coming back hard and strong, just like Paulo Francisco. Paulo <laughs> Francisco. <laughs> what? Hey, I'm going to shout out to uh, Carlito Sosa from... So what kind of... He watches the podcast, listens to the podcast, wanted a shout out. He said hi to everybody. Love, much love to you, Rodrigo, Martin, Owen, Isaac, yeah, Ace too, bro. Right back at you, homie. And then we got... That's Carlitos. Who we have here? Oh man, today I was um. Oh, Mark G. Mark G. said the fifty-one fifty show is my black side, and what's a fool is my Mexican <laughs> side. Love this show. Yeah, man. And uh, what's it called? Oh, I was gonna <clears throat> say also like you know like rest in peace to to the one of the biggest fans that we had was Sal Brissetta that passed away like three years ago. Remember? He had glasses and he, had- he, he was security guard oh, at bro. our at our um taping of our um. Yeah, I forgot about of, that. Of our, movie, our, our HBO showing. His late ever, she messaged me. Oh. He's friends with, he's cousins oh, with Ezra, I think. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And his lady messaged oh, wow. us, and she was like, he was such a big this fan weekend? of. He died this no, no, he died, he died like no. two years oh. ago. Oh, okay. And his lady oh. messaged me, she was like, he was such a big fan of. She, she was saying, like, she, he always talked about us all the time, you know? Yeah. I'm just tripping on that, dude. Like, I just totally forgot about him, dude. Sabra like, set of glasses. Yeah, man. There's another listener that we had, bro, that I haven't seen him check in in a while from um, Ireland. We're worried about you, bro. Haven't seen him. Carlin. Either, uh, Glenn Carlin. Glenn, Glenn Carlin. Carlin. What, what happened to him? And we had another listener that um, he was um, he was a listener and he came out of rehab and he was struggling with addiction. And, um, all his friends and him came to our show one night, and um, I don't know. Hopefully, he didn't fall off the wagon. <laughs> yeah, shit's tough I don't out know there, which bro. One. He was a cool dude. Cool and dude. Shout out, last shout out, <clears throat> last shout out I have Ernesto Duarte. He emailed me to say thank you for the podcast. He and his wife have a newborn now, and they don't go out much these days. Congratulations, so. man! Oh, yeah, Congratulations. Dude. That's it for me. They don't go out no more. Well, because they have a newborn, they haven't gone out lately. Party with the baby. You know how it is. Party with the baby. Not everybody goes out and parties while their wife takes care of the newborn. You know. 
There's a lot of booze Willie, they do. It. Willie Barsana did, bro. <laughs> <laughs> baby <laughs> like dog. Stick by her and, uh... Baby dog. Take care of the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my new show I've been watching, man. Which, you got, what? Uh, Working Moms on Netflix. Working Moms. What? It is Fuck so. It's a Canadian dog. show that they. It's a little slow at the pickup, but by, stick um, with it. By that guy, what's the name? Ivan Reitman's daughter produces it. Oh, really? Ivan Reitman. She, she, she stars in it. She produced it. Funny she as hell. She created hello? it. She wrote it. It's wildly funny some Very parts, funny. but yeah. it goes a little slow. There's some drama too, you know. But the parts that are funny this is are curly haired chick, bro. Fucking hilarious, dog. She's hilarious. Also, it's a great show. Another no, you don't know show, anybody, and it's all Canadian. Another, show, another, another good show to watch is it's it's scary, man. It's um on HBO. It's called The Baby. I haven't this, seen it, oh but I've seen the, the God, baby. They have a similar bit of a hand. Yeah, we just Whoa, finished it. It's yeah. like, how many episodes? Eight. Eight. Yeah. It's very good. Because no, it's just dark, dark uh, comedy. Because you guys Weird. told me about the Righteous Gemstone and so, kind of the same cast yeah. is in yeah. Vice Principals. Yeah. So I binged that. I don't like I was, Vice Principals. Though. I didn't. Did it, you it, like it took it? me a while, but then it was funny. And then I watched the show that Rizzo told me about, which there's like three or four like really hilarious ass sketches. Uh. You asked me to leave, or no? Johnny told us about oh, it. Oh, this Tim. Uh, yeah, what, yeah. And there's a couple of them that were like, dude, like hilarious dog. I but I want to watch leave. the baby though. Dude. I think this you is... should leave. Uh, Alex Fumero produced a few of those. I think he wrote some of them. Too. It, the remember that f- that he's more of an actor, but he came out on um on Comedy Central and he had like a show about sketches, but didn't hit. He was a Latino dude. Kinda um, hit. yeah. Um, what happened? Uh, home. What the hell is... Who? I forget his name, but he had a, a sketch York. show on Julio. Uh, on a on, on Comedy Central, Central, but they were really pushing. Oh yeah, he was a narcos. But then nothing. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, that he fool. was like Peruvian or he something. Like yeah, right? He was a narcos. Uh, I forget his. Yeah, name. he was a narcos. He had a um. He has a show that's coming now. I don't know when, but bec- uh, the only thing I the only reason I know this is because um, one of the little actors from my acting class, she got the role of his her his daughter. Oh damn! And they shot all the shows in New Zealand, bro. Are you serious? Bro, oh. this, this, they they learn about the acting class on the, our podcast, and they want to go take acting class for her daughter. Oh, her, so that's our, a girl. His name yeah. is oh, Ar- 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 Alternatino. Ar- Arturo Castro. Yeah, Arturo He's Castro. Yeah. And it shows Al- Alternatino. Yeah, yeah. That's what it was called. Crazy, huh? They, they fucking got that role. I think he's better <clears throat> doing the drama and stuff like that. I don't really enjoy him in the sketches. I don't know. Yeah, don't it was know. like the characters and stuff. It feels like somebody trying to do like I don't know. Think about just sketches. throw the actors in there it like they'll work it. Yeah. Think about sketches nowadays. Like even SNL's kind of like. Shout out to Benjamin Lopez. First time listening live. Hell what yeah, up, dude. Benny? Benji. He's driving, bro. Where's Benji? Bro? No, I feel like sketches are oh, like not bad on like you know live TV nowadays, but there's so many good sketches on TikTok now, bro. Fuck what do you think they invited the TikTokers on, fool? Yeah, dude. <laughs> but yeah, man. You know, I think Burner is producing a movie with a uh, that guy. Oh, Who's fucking uh, Ed Bassmaster. Psh. Oh, he's Bad funny, Master? man. But a whole movie about it? Like, what, what would he who's, do? Who's, who's is it Bad like Master? A, he, he wears he's a, a Bill Cosby, <laughs> Bill Cosby sweaters. He was in that he Pauly Shore movie with him. He passed by big dudes, and he goes... He's like a Pittsburgh guy. He walks like this, but he's, he's a little balding. and he has glasses. He's got like a bad mullet and some yeah. glasses. Like, he would just... Like, let's say, like, he's like just... Like, you're just standing there. I don't know his thing, but... He's a nice guy, but Very nice. Like, it'll be like, let's say you're just standing there, and he just looks at you, and he's like... And like that's what yeah, he does, and you're like, what the? And like people going, like, "That's funny, saying. dog." But it really? pisses people off. Well, like, these the fools are like this funny. She's like, "Can you look him up?" And Bassmaster, Bassmaster, one. But he just keeps doing that over and over, and really? then people get irritated. Like, what the and then, like, fuck? He finally, he's Latino, actually. Yeah, he's Cuban. Yeah, he's Cuban. The other he dude, one time, also, he has a son, and he got my little sweater too. They're both doing it. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the sweater is the funny thing. Like it's just a shitty, yeah. like Cosby looking stuff. And he's bald, but he wears like a wig that one on top left. Yeah, yeah. That guy. Oh, that fool? Yeah, yeah. Ed Bassman. Damn. Yeah. Oh, now I know. Fuck. But still, I don't really get it. It's a guy thing, I think. I'm not into that. I look like every, like the classic white trash fool everywhere. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's was, Jacksonville, Florida, and like fucking the river bottom right there in Riverside, bro. But it goes back to you. He's the kind of dude that has a nickname. He probably had a nickname that was Rock something, like Mad Rock, J Rock, <laughs> Cool Rock. Dude, I was going to say, I didn't send you this video, but it was Bruce Bruce wearing a big old coat, like a fur coat. And he was all talking about, oh, I love rednecks. You know how they they be at the Waffle House. And you be seeing that they be calling their dogs. Come here, Duke. <laughs> oh, said Duke. <laughs> but anyways. Oh, Duke, what's up, fool? 
I got a movie coming out. Speaking of roles. This tomorrow. Tomorrow. At July, midnight tonight. At midnight, midnight. midnight tonight. Yeah. Three at hours. midnight tonight. July 23rd. Um, 7th and Union. With June 23rd. Omar, June 23rd. Omar Chaparro. Iri Ganam. Oscar Torre. Written by Oscar Torres, who wrote that and directed that movie. Scene. Hmm? What, what movie did he write? Oscar Torres. Know. Scene. Perdón. Oh, Sin Nombre? Sin, Sin nombre. nombre. You wrote that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. <clears throat> I didn't know that. What's up, fool? Movie. You got the clip? Here we go, people. Oh, I'm a beggar out there. Beggar out there. Now, you're Sorry again? Two, two ships. So you can have the life we never had. You know why? You know why? Because I love you, son. Shadow. This is our corner. We come here we come every, day every day and we and wait for work. Watching. You're a boxer, boxer. I was. I was. I got hurt. I got hurt. I couldn't fight anymore. I came here so my family, so my family could eat. I would like to make a hundred. This is Omar Chaparro's first English box. I could train you. You're a trainer? Thanks. The spar is the smallest, best of them. Four men. I'll be. I never made it. This is what a quitter looks like. I quit on myself, and this is what I am today. Don't you want me to come like a suck? So when can we start training? Now. Now. You're like lightning fast. You're like Bruce Lee's favorite drink. What's his favorite drink? Water! We gonna fight. You can't stop me. They can't stop you. They can't stop you. Coffee wants to fight you, Ray. You say you're afraid to fight him. Yes, I'm afraid. But not of that man or any man. I'm afraid you're thinking that I'm not a good father. Yo te necesito. Escape from my son? No, I can't make it right now. We all pitched in a thousand dollars. I need to win. No pressure. You gotta open your heart and see it way beyond all this. Put <laughs> all that you wanna be behind. Because that's the real enemy. That food lost like 60 pounds for that bro. Yeah. He was eating like just low carb food and like Puro starving. Carne. Be all cut. Be all cut. Dude, this like, is crazy because when we had Omar, uh, not Omar, but uh, uh, Tori on, he, I didn't know that the movie, I thought he was the dude. Not, but I, then I was thinking before because when he sent me the trailer, but I was like, dude, but Omar Chaparro, he's going to have to be the star, I think, in this movie. Yeah, and then the that's why it came out. But I I knew Homeboy wrote it, but dude, it looks good. I can't wait to watch it, dude. Dude, I'm watching it. Congratulations, dude. That shit looks dude, awesome, that's dude. That's badass, dude. Dude, the mo- I, I didn't oh, know that the movie was so serious that that scene right there where there's a scene where he, Oscar was telling that, that brother, Oh, this is our streets. This is our streets. This is where we, you know, this is you're trying to be like possessive over the territorial over territorial the territorial like, over. We're day laborers, yeah. day laborers, dog, all day long. And um, so it was, uh, there was a very intense scene right there, right? And um, I'm not the only guy with funny lines in the whole movie. And there was, a, there was, I, and I could improvise whatever I want. So in that, um, Oh man! At first, I said something real funny, but then they changed it. Just don't say nothing. <laughs> that, was, that was too funny, huh? Yeah, because it was all intense. Scene. That's a mean drama, dude. It was I, I when, right there when I, when I got up when they were like arguing. I said, I said, come on, bro. Black lives matter. <laughs> you shot this during twenty twenty. But we right? shot just during COVID. Okay, Is this one of the full blown COVID. They were testing right. you every day in the day every before, day. Yeah. right? Well. COVID had shut down all movie production, and then six movies got greenlit. Yeah, that was, that one, was of them? one of them. And, That's so and crazy because, that nobody was working during that everybody time. Everybody worked basically a second role on the film. Yeah. Not actors, but I mean like, you know, makeup the person also cruise. did wardrobe, you know, or like 
a camera person also <clears throat> did like lighting. Like they doubled up on a lot of the jobs to wow. keep the crew small. So they very could small, approved. man. And Infecting dude, because COVID was really strict. They were testing time. everybody for COVID, <laughs> and everybody had to wear a mask. Like all the directors, everybody had to wear a mask. People were I, in like hazmat suits and yeah. stuff too. But was it an intense where you just took off your mask right before you do your scene? Right. Yeah, I would right. take off my mask, and they would say uh, action. I do my line and then cut. And then with somebody from COVID people would say, mask back on. Put a mask the back COVID on. COVID officer? Dude, there was a girl that tested positive for COVID. We shut down, dude, completely 100% for three days. Really, dude? And then when we came back, everybody everybody had to take a, a COVID test again. And the girl ended up being dirty because she ate before the, the test. So I messed it all up. So she was, she she was a false, false positive? positive? She had a yeah. false positive. But they had really? to shut up. They had to shut down. You know what that shit cost per hour? Yeah. <laughs> three days of production, dude. Yeah, it was like two or three. Because uh, didn't they, wasn't there a video, an audio of uh, Tom Cruise getting all crazy on yeah. his crew because somebody like supposedly was messing around, not masking up? He was he was paying actually for the extra like to keep everybody in a bubble or whatever. Mm. And then some people were going out of that bubble and like you know, going out and hanging out wherever they were, they were on yeah. s- on location like in London or something. Yeah, like they Europe. weren't in the U.S. And he was pissed. And you know, I I love a good actor blowing up audio tape, but I think he was in the right that, at that point because yeah, he yeah. was putting up extra money to keep yeah, the production he was intent- going. This is serious. And these people were like fucking around. Yeah, you know? regardless of what you believe about people's livelihoods, COVID but it, itself, it was true though. That yeah. was the rule, and you had to you know. They strike it down. Stricter. No money, you're out, right? Shout oh. out to Esteban almost listening right now on the What's Up Fool podcast. Thanks, Love big TV. dog. We love you. Thanks for tuning in. How many fired without the phone vibrating? No, yeah. phone, phone vibrating. Sorry. What a little homie. So what's up, people? Man, so that movie is coming out tonight at midnight. Amazon Prime Video. Go check it out. Um, I would say go watch it. You judge it. It's a serious movie. It's intense. It's gonna be a good. It's a good movie. It's gonna show um, a different side of Omar Chaparro because every this is the first movie that Omar has ever done where he doesn't sing. He's not silly. He's not. He's being not silly. silly. He's, he's not anything. singing. Though. He's like, like an drama. underdog, right? Yeah, he's an underdog. He's drama. He's a day laborer. Like an man, this is funny right here, man. Okay, <laughs> we're doing. We're 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 work, that scene right now. You saw where Oscar Torre he got up and said, "Hey, we work here." There was a, a two extras working with us, and one of them, bro, wouldn't shut up, bro. Oh no! Like he Is was, this our he was, he was. <laughs> uh, Get discovered. Today. Him, man, they cut him immediately after, after that. He didn't show up again. The guy who was our handyman ended up being like an actor as well. Really? Yeah, just out of nowhere. The guy you hired to put the TV up in our gym. I <laughs> posted more photos than I did, bro. Damn, How many? Dude. How'd you guys find out? I saw him there, bro. <laughs> And then did he start talking about it? Yeah, oh, and it was so. like, oh, well, he was a fan. Did he, oh, he knew he was. Yeah. He that saw was like, Felipe at the when he put up the TV. But. I was talking to a lot of people, bro, when I got there, and then like when it, when it, when, it, when, it, when it was time to get everybody go back in their places, motherfucker thought it was background too, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Not today, dog. <laughs> And uh, fuck, it was hot, dog. You were right there, right by downtown in that little um, oh, no shade, park man. by Chinatown, downtown. You could charge for right shade, there. bro. It was so hot. Yeah. Damn. Quick question. <laughs> Do you think that, pe- that that could still happen if you're like an extra and you'd be so charming Blow or up? so charismatic that no. you say a lot of go, get over here, put them in the movie right now. It's going to happen to you, bro. <laughs> Bro. I'm the fool that's gonna get beat up and kicked out, fool. Bro, you should Only watch in that. How many dreams. times did you watch saw that movie, Fred and Stoner? That dude, eh? Oh, uh, Fred and Minnie? Yeah, dude. I was do. But I, you know what? I, I met Only up. this guy ain't gonna grab him. But you mentioned the handyman because I met. All right, you start doing pest control in LA. I met so many people yeah. that were actors, and I start seeing the headshots, and then like. Dude, it's crazy, bro. There's more people trying to be actors than actors, bro. <laughs> bro, in 2014, I was doing a music video. <laughs> doing a music a, video, bro. For, for <laughs> Becky G, right? And Becky, I was, who's that, bro? You were Becky, Becky G. G's Look, video? Yeah. In Did you do it like Carly, too? And then I remember I was supposed to dance in the front. You're and, dancing? And I suck so I bad. I that video, bro. I suck so bad. They moved me to the back. And I saw pictures. Look at this you video. Find the What's video? the song yeah, for? He doesn't have any moves, really. It's kind and of like... You see me in the back. <laughs> I imagine no you're rhythm. dancing I was so like bad. a Charlie Brown kid. Yeah, like, totally. If you look up Promposal, look up Promposal Becky G, you'll see me in the back, all the way in the back, dude. <laughs> 
They this move me. Said, oh, I suck so bad. They move me in the back. This was... said, I have a question, man. Do you think they still grab motherfuckers and make them stars? <laughs> Steven Soderbergh plucked me out of a skin. But you know like what? The they, 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 didn't they grab that big dude from um, the Green Mile? I don't know because the the last I heard was that guy that that chubby dude with the glasses, that white dude that parts his hair with the glasses, that he was like overacting <laughs> and saying shit, and they like got him. And same thing with Josh Gad. Is that true? You gotta be lucky to do something to kick you yeah. off the set, well, dog. And you don't have to ever again, right? Because huh? like there's that extra. Because it's borderline <laughs> annoying, right? Because yeah. nobody wants any of that. Because you already paid for like the Ricky talented dude. Yeah. I need another talented dude. I mean, it's possible, bro, but very any... unlikely. Bro, have... Would you be pissed if you were writing a movie and there was a dude like trying to flex like that? We need this guy. You can tell when somebody's trying to flex. <laughs> That's me That's right there all the time. If it's coming on you too strong. Flex, I tried being in front of the camera. The whole time. He showed up with his, his own dressing room, bro. <laughs> If you're gonna, if you're in a position where you can <laughs> grab somebody who's really blowing you away, you're gonna grab the person who's the wallflower, who's the one who's not trying to stand out. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're not gonna I, grab Andy the asshole Bernard. who's going, "Hello, my baby." Hello, my, you know that guy. Like that. Like people that go big. Yeah, you, you know? don't want that person. I know, bro. Like what? Like this is this how? This is what they don't want, man. <laughs> we were in an airplane. I know I said that before. I'll say it again. We were in an airplane. And there was a guy on first class. He was like a CEO or some or a shot caller from NBC. And I was in the back of the plane with Ernie G, Joe Diaz, Merlin Martinez. You know, we're a bunch of unknown comic losers, yeah. bro, basically. <laughs> this fucking Ernie G guy, he starts blowing up balloons and makes a NBC peacock. Who did? Well, Ernie G was a balloons. <laughs> What did Joe Diaz and Meryl Martinez say? Bro, what the fuck are you doing, you <laughs> cocksucker? Are you gonna, are you gonna give that guy a first class a fucking balloon animal? They're gonna kick you off the plane. Off the, off the plane, he made it for him, dog, gave it to him. And what happened? Nothing, bro. He's still doing fucking shows somewhere. <laughs> I was gonna say, you guys walk by and then the the balloon was in the trash. But that, but that, was, what, that was what Lisa was saying, man. It ain't gonna be that guy blowing up balloons. Yeah. It's like if you okay, if you're looking at a lot of uh, let's say you're looking at some open micers, some newer comics to kind of take out on the road, right? You're not gonna get the guy who's the most annoying, who's really trying to charm you and really putting uh, the in guy's extra. telling me jokes before he goes up. You're not gonna, gonna go, pick man. that guy. You're gonna pick somebody who's laid back and who's easier to work with. That's the same thing. In I'm, I'm gonna go with a guy that has like everybody thought he bombed, but there's one joke. They made all the comedians <laughs> laugh hard, right. and they were You're just go they, with were, the weirdo. they were repeating it over and over. That's the guy, That's so man. So funny. You well, can tell he has, he has a good license. And like we were talking about last time, it's Straight just like narrow. when people are like, "Oh, I'm super funny. How come I don't get taken on a road?" It's just if you're <laughs> it's, it's, it's you funny because if you were around and before, and it's like, you know, you're doing the stuff yeah. that people find annoying right now. So like, yeah. you should answer your own question, bro. Put a mirror in front of that fool. <laughs> Fools but, are crazy, dog. Yeah, there's some people who just like. Stand out, dude. Like, there's a comedian. It's about standing out, even when the when there's no line, and it's just there's something about this person. I want it more to see more of this person. Yeah, you can't explain it. Next. You can't explain it. It has nothing to yeah. do with what they're doing. It's some you, energy they give. You were like Bobo Fett, bro, of the whole show. And you know what? Killed that, and left. And yeah. that made me think about the people that get guest spots on a show and they overdo their time and they're trying to blow it up and it's not happening. So it goes from five to seven to ten to fifteen to get the fuck off. Like Fred Stoller, bro, in that book, he talks about trying to stand in the right line to get the perfect handshake with the producer at and, the end of I the know, show. I know Fred's trying yeah. so fucking fuck, hard, it's, but it's but painful, Fred, bro. I love Fred, and we love Fred, and we know that Read if Fred, the Fred was just Stoller himself, book. Handy, if Fred was just himself and just regular, regular, he just stands out by but himself. It's, it's he doesn't pearl. need all that. But in his head, he feels like you got to stand in line the and neurosis, hand, shake bro. hands. Because his mom said they're waiting for you. Like, right. Another one. <laughs> his mom's in his head. Remember in the <laughs> book? In the book, he's this, he told his, his mom. His books that are the best. If he you was going to get a, a he was going to get a job works. at Burger King. He goes, go ahead. They're waiting for you. She, yeah, he said, I'm going to go down and apply at Burger King. And she said, yeah, they're waiting for you. Keep it real, dog. <laughs> y- yes. And then I'm, Fred Stoller mentioned this horrible guy that sold us the weakest bud ever. And he goes, oh, oh when, I introdu- when I mentioned him to my mom, Fred Stoller said, my mom said, he's another one. He he, and he, he didn't hook us up. Somebody else did. But he knew him because he's from New York. <laughs> yeah. And he was living over there by Nyack. Phil Selman, dude. So I remember I, we, I mentioned it to a comedian. I forgot who it was. He just rolled his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn. What's up, fool, bro? 
But Fred and, up, Fred and Vinny is about that, right? Doesn't Vinny yeah. kind of blow up, right? When he gets on set somewhere? like He thought if he gets to him. the right set, stand in the right place, they're going to plug him, bro. Yeah, That's how a lot happened. of people think. I remember... It's just one of those things where, like, you know, I like, thought that, bro. But that's how they kind of sell you but, Hollywood a little bit. But right? that's old. Oh, yeah, you're just sitting having a soda at the soda fountain on the corner, and then somebody says, You ought to be in pictures. And you yeah, go, Well, I thing. never, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you'd show up early and give you more lines. <laughs> but that's, that, that's, old, <laughs> that's old Hollywood, like back it then, is. you know, before, like, you know, like now it is. Because I mean, now there's Hollywood. a million and plus people trying to get into Hollywood. Oh, there's a lot. There's a game trying to get 200 people in the movie. Yeah, I told this fool, remember when? Uh, I told you that uh, in 2008, I, I was like probably like barely a year into stand up comedy, and me and my girlfriend from high school, we went to uh, watch the Jimmy Kimmel live taping. And Dom Barris, he did the, the warm up, you know, yeah. the warm up uh, thing. He's a warm up then, guy for that show. So he would do like little games with the crowd, come and dance, and he'd be like, Anybody has a talent? And then my girlfriend, go, go, go. I raised my <laughs> hand. I said, I did stand up. And then I went down there, right? So they brought me. <laughs> In, on stage, like I was a comedian, I was like, "This is my fucking big break." You're <laughs> lying, fool! You never said nothing Bro, about I this. Him, I told you, I told him and Gabby, and then it was like, I, dude, I was really like probably like nine months in comedy. You thought, like you some know? agent was gonna be watching you. And exactly, because like, the think, kid we've been looking yeah. for. Hey, Marvin, <laughs> remember that kid we've been looking for? <laughs> He's here. <laughs> He's right there. This is the sound you're That's looking for. Hey, and Chuck, and <laughs> give me my monocle. Let me see him. <laughs> give me my monocle. Hey, that's yeah. the kid. It's like fucking uh, back to the future. Hey, Chuck, you know? Okay, like, so fuck that. <laughs> what happened? Somebody <laughs> served you a softball. Yeah, when I bombed, I was my like, God. Uh, you guys aren't ready for this, but your kids are going to love this. <laughs> <laughs> so how'd you open up though? So they brought me in Cleto and the fucking band. They brought Cleto, me in. Cleto, fool. Cleto, you mean Cleto? Cleto. 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 That's yeah. why I didn't get on. Yeah. <laughs> I had the skinniest Cletus? jeans, the tightest jeans. And again, my hair was all emo. Again, oh, you thought the tight jeans were going to You're going to cry, huh? I look like a fucking big <laughs> Jonas brother from the Swami, bro. <laughs> I came out there, I did my shit? shitty jokes, and then nobody really laughed. Like, ah, okay. And Had then, you, you hadn't been on stage before, ever? I was on stage, but oh. I was barely doing comedy But like Don didn't months, warm up you know? the crowd for you? No, he was doing, you know, like the games, you know, and then, yeah. you know, he had people come on stage and sing, and they're like, who has a special talent? And I went, I do comedy. You know? Hey, but will you really want it, or your lady said it first? She was like, hey, tell him. I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, let's do it. This might be How great. was it, dude? It was tough. I was, dude, I was new, you know? But you're excited, though? You felt you did okay at least a little I, bit? I, I did dumb jokes, you know? Fucking. I forgot. I forgot the jokes I did. Fuck, like, yeah. dude, you're a, dude. you got balls, bro. It, it was dumb jokes, you know, back then. Yeah. They pick you up, bro. And Nothing then, happened. Yeah, they sat me back in. Get it? Not even a T-shirt, a Jimmy Kimmel <laughs> no, T-shirt. You know, Two thousand eight, bro. I remember. Well, Jimmy people think Kimmel they're gonna blow up by a retweet, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. If you could only repost this, bro. <laughs> it's almost sad when you just get one retweet. It's like, fuck, I'm gonna take it down if I don't get another one, bro. <laughs> Like I, I like people ask me to re retweet shit, their bro. stuff. All right, eh? What like, else can I do? <laughs> you know, but like if you don't even put like sometimes people send me videos, and they're horrible, bro. Like they're worse than my comedy, my my sketches on videos. <laughs> <laughs> and they want me to share it, bro. Let me say, it, bro. You share it, tag me, and I'll repost it. Eh? Let's see what happens. Uh, at least cool you do that because I was going to wonder if somebody asked you to repost it but they're all but post it at noon because I know there's high activity at noon <laughs> <laughs> the, the algorithm is better it's your analytics dude you post it bro yeah. oh, you have an insight because someone told insights. us right now to repost the show and it's like yeah but post and it and he told you the... what time I was bro like, yeah but I'll you, but post you it. have a different in engagement than he Damn. does yeah. your fans different. would watch at different times than his I head. follow this handyman like, you're crazy bro bro I follow this fucking this handyman I need a handyman and he only really? has 2,500 followers on TikTok, but like 80,000 likes. This fool does handiwork all over a late talky shit, dog. He goes, all right, hey. So I'm driving a fucking fucked up Huntington Park, eh? HP, to baby. fix this fucking puerta. <laughs> Gonna get joked, fool. He goes, this fucking puerta, eh? <laughs> so... They were not there, eh? So I saw this burger place across the street. Oh, and I lay, eh? Be fucking roaches, eh? F everywhere, homie. Fuck it. He's, he's, he's dissing Huntington Park. And then he fucking check it out, eh? I fixed the fucking puerta. I need one little screw. Charge this fool $80. Oh, I lay. 
Now I'm driving to La Puente, eh? and he's just talking shit, bro, about all his little handiwork at these restaurants he goes to. In cities and stuff? Dude, it's That's fucking hilarious. funny. What's his name? Then, I don't know his name, but then he goes to buy um, he goes buy some food somewhere, and he's bagging on the food. Dog. He's just a regular dude. He never shows his face. Talking sp- ah. He never showed his face. You don't know him? I don't he's know him. He's not a fan of yours or whatever? But he, he I got, need a handyman. No, you gotta send this guy, man. He talks shit about our house. We need a real handyman. Who, this not fucking perro trying well, to bite me and shit, In my house eh? and the office, too. We need Hold stuff here. Let's see Something if I can find this fool, dog. It's funny. The fool's funny, bro. Know, Mondo wants to do this. Something about this. Oh, no. If Mondo knows any handyman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he used to work with one. Yeah. Handyman for what? up certain stuff that he opened up, like walls and stuff. I need to. Well, I could do this here, but some other stuff. I can't find that food, dog. I learned stuff from my landlord. I can do. There's that. a lot of those funny ass fools that have chueco. jobs and talk Trust shit all day, dude. Hot chueco. I'll do it. Hot chueco. Hot chueco. Yeah, this, <laughs> yeah. I don't have. I don't have. I don't. I don't have it right now. But this food's funny. He's talking. Yeah, I'm gonna go fix this puerta at this restaurant, eh? Hey. Match a voice to a face, dude. Yeah, no followers, bro. But hilarious. Oh, show's coming up, people. June 24th through the 26th. Okay, that's this weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm going to be in Pittsburgh at the Pittsburgh Improv. I'll see you guys there. July 1st, South Padre Island, Texas. July That's 7th. the amphitheater show. The outdoor amphitheater, show. Out there show. Wear sunscreen and a hat. Yeah. Bring sunscreen, a hat. And, and that's man, Phil's birthday. If you're a big hey. dude, over 240 pounds, get there early, man. Because if you're in a, in a lawn with a chair, you're going to be sinking. <laughs> yeah. It'll be Philip, the producer's birthday. We'll be over there hanging out, man, engineer. swimming. The engineer. What's up, you fool? You swim? Did you swim in the ocean? Hell yeah, yeah I did. It was, it was warm. warm. It, was, it was actually it's really soothing, from the man. Pacific. It was a Mexican. You ever been was, in Texas it was, in the water? It was way different. I've never been in warm water. Before. I was, Three of us, we were just chilling there. I always yeah. forget that Texas has beaches. I'm such an idiot. Like, Same it was baby like waves, waves but there was, it, you could like... You, you could like yeah, you could you could float in your back for a while there. It was man. calm, so cool. Nice. And then we ate at that fucking badass uh, ninja, something. I forgot. Well, it was pineapple ninja? bowls, pineapple ninjas. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Yeah, that was the day before. Wow. Also, I'm coming July 28th through July 31st, summertime, in Portland, Oregon. I'll be at Helium's Comedy Club, August 4th through the 6th, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'll be at the Helium in P- Philadelphia. Mm. Is that helium? Yeah, Philadelphia. Helium, right? Yeah. Tickets at FelipeWorld.com. Brea, too. Also, the okay. Brea is coming up. Oh, man. Friday, Brea's Saturday, sold, sold out. out. Yeah. Hometown show. We bro, haven't even basically. pushed Brea, and it's sold out already. Couple, sold out, four, man. Three or four of the shows. But the ba-dumps. But the ba-dumps. Better hurry but up. Ba-dum. I know. You got to beat, uh, you gotta beat uh, super fan Joyce. She's going to buy all the tickets, bro. This guy said, why do all comedians go to trash Texas City? Corpus and San Antonio are trash. Come to Houston. Well, he's coming to Houston too. He goes to every city almost. I go to every city, bro. Almost every city in Texas. Texas is so huge. You can. It's his own country. Calling me, motherfuckers. Say it's the size of uh, Australia, or am I tripping? Or Australia? No, I think not. Australia, Uh, another uh, another island. Hawaii, Alaska, Alaska. Yeah, Alaska. Yeah. Texas is bigger than Alaska. Okay. There was a comparison I heard like last week. Hey, dude, what's up with the weather today, dude? Somebody got killed by the lightning, dog. Shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, dude. Where? Over there in Pico Rivera, dude, a lady Wait, and her two dogs. I Shazam. Like, what? <laughs> Shazam. But yeah, because, dude, Shut the fuck I was like up. tripping out. I was like, dude, where is this coming from? And I guess they're like monsoon type of effects or whatever. And the lightning also, and man, this lady, and I, I saw the meme. This lady stabbed her husband because he was like um, checking out photos of this hot ass skinny chick. And later on, she found out that it was her when she was skinny. The tables have turned, bro. I mean, it's a funny she story, was, he was, but she I don't was, know he if was looking true. at his, his the photo were of her, not of another girl. This, uh, unless you lost so much weight, you had blurry vision after. This that. is a plot from the Outer Limits, bro. But I think <laughs> I seen a picture of the lady, dude. She looked like a tamalera or something. I mean, dude. this was shared on DJ Pooh's page, so I don't know how true it is. I believe oh, everything yeah. he said. So Snoop Dogg, man, <laughs> is he producing records or memes now? Memes, he's a meme, bro. bro. Yeah. It's a meme page, fool. He's in everything. It's a meme label now, bro. No, you, no record label. Have you noticed, like, you follow that history? Uh, no, uh, abandoned. It's abandoned. Oh, yeah. It's abandoned, right? It's a page that shows like abandoned buildings around the world in different spots, just weird abandoned <clears throat> buildings. And it gives a little history blurb of it. But lately, I think they got hacked. 
in one of those ways where the hacker makes you post about something yeah. in order to get your page back. back. Yeah, so they put up these posts, but then they take them down like the next day, but they have to put them up. But so then they, they don't keep them up as part of the, the whole selection of posts. And somebody on that I follow, she her son, who's a teenager, got a hacker or got somebody like that who hacked his page and said, you have to make X number of videos like pushing Bitcoin or pushing oh, whatever. Shit. Damn. And praising it and talking about what you bought. And he's Why? like 16. He didn't buy anything with it because they want to push their thing. So they hijack your page and then they force you to do mm. like X number of posts you put your post up and then you get your account back or you pay an, an, a dollar amount. Because I know Twat Wolf had her page jacked and then she got it yeah. back, it but I don't like know if it's the same too, type of shit. I've got him. But that's been Melanie Camarcho mm -hmm. was doing it and she was like posting about Bitcoin and investing. Thank you, her, thank though, you huh? to so-and-so. It wasn't her, but I re uh, you know, responded to her and she was like, she didn't respond back. But I was like, you, I think you got hacked and she didn't respond. But she did like six more posts and then she was done. I've How do got you got in, I've gotten back. messages How like How do you that? protect yourself? You don't, you you don't, don't answer, answer you messages don't do, from random you do not people. You don't in, click on anything that people... How, have you got this one? Please vote. Can you vote for me? I've seen that one, but I just deleted it. <laughs> what is that it. about it? I don't know. You don't click on anything that people say you that you don't know, that you're not expecting. I don't, so I don't even open videos no more. Regardless of opening that... You can open the message. Don't click on the video. A whatever they sent send you, you. No, I got a screwed. link nothing this is a message I've gotten I'm trying can you help me I'm like well, I saw you bomb here? at the Jimmy Kimmel show I'm trying show. to log into my computer and it's not letting me can yeah, I borrow you my lying. Instagram link yeah. and then I'm like fuck you yeah. don't anyway, you know I, I don't even know that you one day dude cause yeah. dude something going you. weird with my page dude like the last couple months they can take control of but I never clicked a link but it's weird dude what's happening but I'm like don't you I don't even know you personally don't you know you're fucking you're that's what you live with it doesn't even have to be a link it could be a video that they sent and then you click on really just, yeah, avoid, no. just avoid clicking and I've been on that Those ones, oh, dude, so I ain't even... Or you can go look for it somewhere more. else, you know. Yeah. If it's interesting, you really want to see it, go search for it somewhere else. Just search else it on go. Google? Yeah, but don't click on anything yeah. somebody sends you. But, it's how they but also... Knew it, dude. So, yeah, so they'll, they'll hijack your page and ask for ransom, either money or you have to do X number of posts, like pushing their page or whatever. It's ridiculous. I, remember I got hacked, like, four years ago. I'll, on what? On Instagram, and then after that, I saw them posting stories on my thing. I was about to cry, like, "What the? How'd fuck? you get out of it?" So what I did, I went back. I I fucking I changed my password right away. Then I went to uh, I think Gmail, and I switched my password really quick. Where they uh they had to ask for authentic authenticity. Like they asked you a question, like who was your yeah, seventh yeah, grade exactly. teacher or whatever. I was about to pet. cry, dude, because like. Jeez, dude. Well, sometimes yeah. that's people's livelihood. Yeah, page, yeah. bro. And, and don't like, click on anything, and then you can re you can change your password regularly if mm. if it's a problem for you. If you're getting a lot yeah. of spam or whatever, just change your password regularly. Damn, it's, it's, it's everybody's it's a target, huh, fool? Pirates are being fucking out there, dude. I mean, a long time ago, and that's how old I am. My MySpace got hacked, bro. <laughs> MySpace. But you think it was somebody who knew you, and yeah. I think it was too, from the way it sounds. I didn't know you at that time, but but what? Just girl. like some sneaky shit, like looked over your shoulder and got your a, password. I think it was a girl. Yeah. Oh, they put my number out, out the there. Because they put your phone number out, right? Really? Oh You're an old God. phone number, right? Yeah, man. The, but Dude. then you couldn't get in your, into your page, your MySpace page. Somebody had my phone what? line, bro. Did you finally get back in there or no? <laughs> no. No. no you you never, you got, you got locked out forever? Locked out forever. Yeah, man. Damn. 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 What's up, Foo Podcast? What's up, everybody? Don't forget, man. I have a new podcast coming out soon. With comedian Butch Escobar, it's called History for Fools, and we got a logo. We got uh, episodes coming out, and Not look yet. out for that. I'm thinking probably the first week of July will be the first episode. I'm thinking we got to work it out because we have to bring. It's hard because we have to bring Butch down here to record like. Four we have to make ranch water. Time. Ranch water. <laughs> so it's not a quick process. Your MySpace Tequila. pictures. Yeah, oh, Part wow. Line, right? Look at my MySpace photo, people. Oh, you guys were horrible. so. You guys were little. You, you guys were, were so little. You mean we were... got fat? No, no, no. You guys were with like middle babies. Age? <laughs> it happens. Babies. I was like 36 right there. I was 25. It's so crazy <laughs> when you say you're 36. I do. Like, dude, you know you're old when you say you're. That's crazy, bro. You guys are so young. <laughs> my goodness. Well, I thought Lisa was Jennifer Love Hewitt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, know, I know what you did I last time. I think that was the night that Felipe Ooh. wrote Xanax on a napkin with a Z. 
<laughs> he wrote Xanax like it was a girl's name on a napkin. It's prescription. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck is this guy writing? And it was Z-A-N-A-X. It was, rap, it was my new rap name. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Xanax. That was when you had the, you didn't have the beard, you had the goatee. I think that's when I first met I him. have mutton chops, cocksucker. <laughs> You're all ring, cocksucker. I said mutton chops. <laughs> Man, I can't keep up with all these Marvel movies coming out, bro. A lot of them. Other dude. universes? Every universe, bro. There's a, Mar- there's, a Mar- like, there's a Marvel superhero movie coming out right now. Look at that one. Right there. Back in the day, bro, when oh, I, uh, me and um, that Tom. MySpace guy, Tom, was trying to get my page back. Man, Tom got out at the right time, sold it for millions, and then just got Living out on had a boat. Look at that. the bottom photo of me and uh, what's her name? That's my MySpace page right here. That's me and um, Lisa. Kat Von D. Right there. Lisa with black hair. Oh, my God. That's a horrible picture. Where did you guys take pictures Emos. of Kat Von D at? The rainbow. The rainbow oh, room. That's tight. Lisa right there. Whoa. That was at the premiere. Don't look at my fat arms. That's at the premiere of, uh, That's of from, that movie. Yeah. The Seventh new, and Union oh, last year at the Latino really? Film Festival. Yeah. No. Yeah, that was on the red carpet. And that's me and Rob, uh, Robert, Shim, uh, Robert Schimmel. Robert Schimmel. Wow. Thank you very much. Uh, R.I.P. And that porn star right there. Wait, let me see. Roxy. Ooh. Roxy. What's her name? Roxy something. Roxy Rock. Roxy yeah. Rock. And, and like, then over there, there's a picture of me and Bob Saget over there. But they're blurred, blurred, blurred. Yes, right. Yeah, I perform for his daughter's birthday graduation. What's up? That's old school MySpace. What? Damn. And dog. we talked about it, dude. One, bro. MySpace, we were all fucking little web designers, bro. <laughs> fucking... But see, that kind of like, you were able to code then, and you can't code yeah. now, right? They right? want that yeah. shit to end, bro. They want everybody to learn, though. We have uh, too many hackers out there. And you know, that's the first time that I knew about like layering and stuff. Like, I, I was like, this shit's easy. Like, how the fuck? You know what I mean? And it's like, now I cannot, I, I don't know how to do that shit now. But remember, because the code, code was still work. Oh, I still it I still do it for the website. The code was still worked. Yeah, like, I still do like, it for the website. Like, if you were to just... do it on Facebook, you could change the color. I don't know. Like an homage to like If you would override the. They block you, they won't let you do it. Yeah, I don't know if it would override Facebook's code, but. um, Fuck Tom, huh? You know, it's just (laughs) HTML. (laughs) It's just simple HTML. I remember um, there'll be be cholas or hood rats or people from like the hood, and they'll have a little countdown of when their man is going to come out of prison. Or, or, you go, or their birthday. About that. Sparkles. Or their down birthday. The See, Cholas, you go on there and fucking MySpace, media, yeah. it will fuck up your computer because it will take a long time. Oh my God. Dude, Cholas had so many. They were smart, filters, bro. bro. They knew they were doing. And it will f- slow down your computer like crazy. Like the Chola verse. Yeah. What happened, man? Oh, man. It's fucking Chola. We got a MySpace and shut down the power and, <laughs> and cut a haze. <laughs> She shut down the internet at Starbucks. For real, dude. I remember. She was parked outside, bro. <laughs> Hacking. Bro. You used to do that, how, bro? I've done I used to that. Do that. Sit what? outside in the parking lot to uh, get the Starbucks. Wi-Fi. Starbucks? Yeah, I've late, done that. Cause late at I, night, cause huh? When I, we lived in the studio apartment, and then you were gone, and I was like, I just want to get on the internet and do stuff. Have a strong and ass signal. <laughs> I had, yeah, I just sat out the one down uh, by downtown. What was that? Beast. Bristol Street or yeah. something like that. Yeah, by uh, Wilshire and Southern. I used to do that too, bro. I used to, stand, I used to park at the one on Silver Lake, bro, and just sit there Because I didn't want to go in and do all that Smoking business and, and stuff. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing. You're right about that. That signal is fucking strong. I would, oh, yeah. Also, yeah. it was like 2 a.m. I got that out of work strong. and nothing was open. These and, kids don't you know, know about this shit like that. No. The struggle, dude. I know. It was a struggle. They don't know about driving around with your car looking for free internet. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's crazy. Hey, but I remember in the, like, 15 years ago they had the little cartridges that you put on the side of your computer and you'd yeah. have like internet I mean it was, it was expensive but portable I mean, internet yeah. this yeah. will say record songs on my next well, they still days. have like hotspot things and stuff and you take that off your phone stuff. or it's actually a device that you attach it's to your device. laptop oh, okay. no, I didn't, you're not even attached okay. this will say LimeWire <laughs> it will take hours to download yeah <laughs> Remember when bro. Metallica came out and they were all mad because they were dialing mm. their songs? Not and Napster, some fool, yeah. some fool said a funny song for him. He's all, he did a, he's all Napster, like instead of a Metallica, download faster. <laughs> 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 I was explaining Napster to Isaac the other day because he had no idea of that the that was history the first of all Jack? that stuff, you know? Because he, in his mind, and a lot of kids, his Music's generation, been there. everything's free to download yeah. everywhere. Because he has, he loves this band called 100 Gex, right? It's like an electronic, sort of weird, hyper pop, whatever. Two people. He loves them. And 
he has their new album, but he's waiting for them to release their new album. And I said, but you have it already. He said, yeah, 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 I have it. We all have a copy. Like all the fans have a copy of the unreleased songs that people have leaked. But he wants the official copy of the album. Beginning to end, how it's going to be. But like it's it exists, and he's like, yeah, well, all music is out there. You can just grab it. Like it's everywhere. Yeah. There's no so to explain to him Napster and how these guys sued this kid who created this file sharing system, he was in he was just shocked. Like what? But what's the problem? And I said, well, it's intellectual property. property. It's Fool, like the, yeah. the great property. Bambino just said. You understand it? He, the great Bambino said back in the days, even the kid wouldn't understand that man. Text messages was ten cents. Text Dude, I, yeah. I, I, that's why I would have text. 10 cents a message. Yeah. The great Bambino comes in me after first, with a 10 cents a message text. When I first met text. him, he, t- he was the first person to ever text me, Felipe. And a little envelope and a little light was the flashing envelope. on my phone. And I was like, what the fuck is this? I'd never Show had with a no text underwear. before. Huh. I'm watching you. <laughs> or, or you I've never had a text before. And <laughs> it was him. And I was like, man, this is 10 cents. I don't have a text, <laughs> plan, text plan. You better break that piggy bank. <laughs> And then you accidentally she go was on, singular. <laughs> <laughs> and you accidentally go on the um, internet by accident. You're like, fuck! And my mom's gonna get fucking pissed off. Bro, oh, no, my mom didn't pay for anything. Fucking up. You know shout I mean. out to Larry Bubba Brown. <laughs> when Larry Bubba Brown gets on the internet, Your mom was the crazy. whole page is on his little square. He has to scroll down still. Remember Lisa? Oh, he. Well, he had he dial up at the apartment. Like I think the, since the pandemic, he's had yeah. regular like. Our internet. Yeah, he, he, had, he, I have he improved. Still. And also, he had a flip phone, and he only had the, when you're texting, you got to go through the, like, A, B, C, D, E, F. You know, you got to, like, three letters. Spread. You got to hit all the letters. And so that's how he was texting in the past. It took him so long to respond, and I was like, dude, I'm sorry. I didn't know you didn't have People will call your house, and they, 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 <laughs> people will call your house, and they, say, they think you're not home, but you're on the internet, bro. Hell yeah, dude. On that, trying to bust out that next, next, next Juno D- DVD inside <laughs> the CD ROM, you got it free at um, Circuit City, huh? Or if it came with one of those like dummy books, bro. I remember, dog, when I had my my little fucking computer, man, my little ink machine. You had an e machine. E machine, dog, what and I got that? a huh? It's a little computer, e machine. It you was a fries and shit. Two hundred dollar computer, bro, and it had a little CD ROM thing. And it it was basically a word processor word plus. Processor. With and memory. I bought a printer for it, too. Like connect, like and I bought a printer a little, for it and a fax because I thought I was going to write for the Tonight Show. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> so um, I put the CD-ROM <laughs> in my phone, bro. It took forever, but I got on Yahoo Messenger, and I was chatting with other comics, and... Bro, meeting people from, like, from other states, bro, chick from other states... Jeez. Sending me photos. Yeah, he wasn't Chat chatting rooms. with any comedians. He was chatting with I was with chatting, chicks. bro. Let's not lie. <laughs> but um, the comedians the I remember chatting with That's somebody the and they were telling me stuff like, Chick. he goes, there's this kid next door making a lot of noise. And then she, she would, she, I don't know how she did it, bro, but she wrote up, she made a big G. What do you sound like? Grah. It was a big ass G, bro. Grah. How did you write a big G? Fuck. Coding, bro. Coding, oh, dog, on Yahoo Messenger. Oh my. I, I used to be on AIM a lot. Uh, hey. Instant Messenger that was dude I see just fucking AOL Instant Messenger that's old school bro. that's when you were trying to get rid of my manager bro when she threw out an AOL email <laughs> Cause how about Friendster what was that That before Facebook that's before that Facebook before and it was Facebook. Tribe right, right before Facebook yeah, yeah. Friendster was about to blow up <laughs> it was about and, days before Facebook because didn't the guy from Facebook hire the guy from uh, Napster to help him out for a while or is that, or is that I don't know about that but that's crazy how yeah bro I was chatting with hot babes all day <laughs> I'm sure you were look at Kip over here <laughs> yeah. from uh, Napoleon I, Dynamite I got laid he got on LaFonda space, dude. you got really? laid on MySpace yeah dude it was easy we are eighth grader, dog. Yeah, I was Bro. like, I was like in a uh, really slithery was, ass little fool. I was, like, I was like a junior in high school. I remember, man. Really? It, but the party, because they used to have like party flyers there. Yeah, like, dude, somebody's yeah. gonna kill me at night. I ain't yeah. going over there. Yeah, I was, man, it was crazy times, dude. <laughs> you I was nuts, an emo boy, bro. bro. Emo boy. There, were, there was message boards, right? There was a message board. It For didn't work like a normal, like a forum or whatever. But you, you used to post, like it was like a bulletin board. The first where everybody could time, post something. The first time I All saw, I saw a message board. I was with another comedian, and we had my computer, of course, and we were hanging out. 
And um, you're talking about the MySpace message board? No, uh, no, no, not MySpace, but just a regular forum. message, yeah, regular forum, forum yeah. basically for MySpace. Reddit works like forums. And um, used I to didn't work. know nothing about this, but I remember we clicked on my computer and then we saw a bunch of people who like Carlos Mencia. You know, they were just chatting about Carlos Mencia, like some show they just saw. It was all oh, badass, da da da. I got to get a CD. And then there was people who said, fuck that dude, I hate him. This is before Joe Rogan, you know, I hate him. Hey, fuck that guy, I hate him. He was a dick to me. But then, but that's why I, t- I, I remember telling somebody, bro, he goes, Carmen Sia has people fighting for it over him on the internet, dog. Like somebody says they suck. There's other people saying that he's badass. They're like before social media. It's crazy, but bro. But he was yeah. already, because he was already a headliner, dog. So they were, they were, people were talking about Carlos Mencia since the messaging board, so bro. Like the late 90s? So then? he's been in, like, in the game and in social media, and he's been, uh, you know. Since he, the inception, bro. People know him. Like, if you look at Carlos Mencia, there's a lot of stuff about him, more than any, any other comedian, probably. That's where I, pl- I plucked that picture out of him, George, and uh, Paul Rodriguez. It was on the internet somewhere. They were together, dude. Yeah, I would tell people that Young Comics, dog, he's a big dog. He like, bro. People didn't have a computer. I was like, nah, bro, people are talking about him on the computer. That's crazy, dude. Because even right now, whatever you want to say, Homeboy's still out there doing killing for two weeks in some of those cities, dude, in a yeah, row. Yeah, dude. he is doing we those two we... weekends. He didn't go all the way back to like just doing an improv weekend here and there, but he went to like a two weekends but, in a city. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's yeah. Which is like, I've been doing comedy a long ass time, but when I first started doing comedy, the only headliners who, who, who were headlining that were Latino are still headlining, bro. Yeah. Um, Paulo Francisco. Carlos Mencia, George Lopez, and Paul Rodriguez, bro. Yeah, if he's if Carlos is selling out those improvs or clubs for a full weekend, if he's selling those out back to back, like two weekends in a row, he's making way more than a theater. He's making yeah, more in a weekend major. than he is in a one night at a yeah. theater. With he less stress and that. selling less the stress. CD, he, he does he he records his CDs like the um like the like that band. Does he have a different set every like Grateful Dead? Grateful does he have Dead. a different set every night though? I don't know. I've never been to a yeah, show. I, I know. Changes, I don't know. Like, you said he, time. but you said like that night though. He'll cut a thumb drive. Because he was doing it on that guy. What he did. Yeah, exactly. And he'll sell and he'll that. Because before it was CDs, and then you know. Went Who's to the, would you ever pop in a thumb drive though? Like, man, I just hit record on my phone on my chest. But I mean, like, <laughs> no, I mean, I'm saying no. as a listener, Rerun as a fan, yeah. would you pop in a thumb drive? Yeah, if I was a fan, yeah, you would. Because maybe like, a QR code I would do. You know, it took you to like. I would the say list. like if it's somebody like Norm Macdonald who's died or whatever, I would watch that. But I would. If that was the only way to get it, yeah. Like for anybody, a CD would still seem kind of easier than a thumb. You gotta watch the openers first. Yeah, I don't even like the CDs anymore. Like I they're like, this it's thing's a lot of scratch, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? That QR code—that's a good idea. QR bro. codes are good. I feel like you know, you give like a business card with a QR code. We had those too. drop drop cards for a while, which was and the album was on the album. lanyard, yeah. right? Yeah, and, it, and then you, you just use a QR code and the, or a barcode. That was or ahead something. of its time, kind of. Yeah, it was, it was almost too early, huh? It was a little too early. What's up, fool? I see so again. They Cook, the king of MySpace, bro. Oh, I was like, yeah, that fool. Well, now he's on TikTok, but he's doing like lives next to his girlfriend in the same pool. Is that and they're on girlfriend? separate lot. She's oh, not under. I know she's been nineteen <laughs> for five years. <laughs> <laughs> but they have. They're she's both. Overage, bro. They're both in the. <laughs> they're both in the pool, in the same pool. Is that a weird? A few feet away from each other, but going live at the same time. What is that about? Just get together. What I haven't mean, sat right? and watched like what they talk about, but. I, I uh, let's have a, a let's bit. have a view party one day, <laughs> and let's just go. Like, Whoa! Yeah, it just seems strange, but I think we should. You and I should go live in the pool, like next to each other, and on different streams. See what happens. But see, all they're gonna say on my stream is, "Move the Show camera a down. Toe. Move the camera down. <laughs> Show <laughs> something." You can. You get. You, That's you what get they do. The first, the first few minutes. TikTok's way more sensitive. I never go They'll live. kick your ass out. Well, I don't. I'm not on TikTok. Fuck that. I'm on TikTok. They'll kick your ass out immediately, man. You gotta be like. I don't know how they girls get away with it, man. But I know, right? Bro, I, I saw just a think funny ass TikTok like video, pass. bro. Like, like th- there was this there was this white girl in a surfer bikini, bro, and she was just walking with a little pinky skirt, and she's like a model, bro. And she's walking, and then she trips o- over a guitar, and it and then it goes to a picture of a breast of chicken slapping the guitar. <laughs> oh, I remember that one, yeah. <laughs> and what's uh? I tried to do it with my balls, bro, and it blocked me. Put two sweaty meatballs <laughs> hitting the base. Did you really try to or you didn't fuck around? Nah. <laughs> What's up, fool? I went I went live on TikTok earlier. The most ever. How much? 
Do you uh, so in total like five thousand something and like uh, all in one uh, at the same time was like. I told them, man, if they if I get to five hundred five hundred views, I'll show my toe. You did show your toe. You yeah. went. You got but, to maybe like a live. But uh, you were gonna. They were, oh. Everybody thought you were gonna show a broken toe, a nasty yeah. toe. Oh though, my god, dude! Oh toe. my god! I saw What's the going on? grossest thing last night, bro. Pimple popper. I couldn't. Uh, worse, worse. <laughs> oh, my feet are killing. Get ready popper. for this, bro. You, you're gonna get sick on this one. I was watching Iron Chef, and they had to cook with milk, bro. And they had camel oh, milk. Every uh, every uh, dish. They had, had camel milk. milk. Uh, and they buffalo had milk. Goat milk, buffalo milk, elk, and regular cow milk, bro. I mean, and they, all... and they tasted all of them. And the guy said, said "The camel's so sweet." The, the, oh my god, the yeah. camel was the sweetest one. Gross. And they made a fucking tart with it. And that guy, that lady, loved it. Ma- they made a milkshake with they it. They made a milkshake That's with yes. it. Yes. Well, uh, see, cow's milk I'm, is the I'm same. I'm just to thinking me. about it. The gross. camel. With a fucking Afghanistan dude on top with a K- 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 47 it's camel down <laughs> in Afghanistan. And that dog sleeping they ain't and shit. bringing that milk from Afghanistan. I camel. mean, it's all cattle. Dude, there's, no right? camel, it's, there's camels. Camel there. cigarettes. Ca- camel farms there are somewhere. Camel farms oh, those are all cattle, there, right? right? I heard there's one yeah. in Valencia. They're all yeah. over. Yeah. yeah. They're all over. There's some yeah. in like El Monte, I think, too. That area. Really? Camels? Yeah. I'm yeah. going to go now. You know, there's, there's an ostrich farm over by Highland Park. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's little pockets of shit like that. Ostrich farm, you know, what's it called? But I like cow's milk. I'm used to it, but it's weird because you're you're grossing out just milk, period. And I'm just grossing out on all the other milks but cows, but it's like the same thing. But they're all cattle. They're all cattle. How about that girl on TikTok that made some cheese out of breast milk? Yeah, it's all non-human. Chee-chees. Well, yeah. People get grossed out by that, but that's what we should be eating technically. But it's human milk. Breast milk, you know? cheese. Yeah. I'm down. Well, with see, no animal, up. no animal in history, no animal drinks milk past their infancy. Except us. Except us. And we don't drink our Coke milk. We drink another right right now, right? animal's oh milk. God. Just because we're God. used to we it. Don't that talk is, about your cheese. Yeah, dick. I'm, I'm going to so fucking nasty. almond milk. What'd you say? I want to take the breast Gross. milk queso fundido. It's because we were uh, we were in Houston one time and these fools were watching videos. Well, Gabby, bro, she she bumped and it out. She, well, Gabby, Gabby has a strong stomach, dude. Gabby she, like watches but all that these girl weird the, That cheese oh looks like sticky, God. dog. Uh, no, 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 I'm good, dude. But Fuck camel, shit, I was dog. done with camel milk, bro. It's better than fucking I, dog milk. Bro. I thought we only, I thought we only <laughs> stopped at goat milk Squirrel and milk, cow dude. milk, bro. That's what I thought. Like, I didn't know all these milks. Buffalo milk. Now I'm thinking of buffalo milk. No wonder these, fu- these fucking Indians would have been farting, bro. It's like buffalo wild wings, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> That's how they lost the war. They, they couldn't hide. They couldn't hide. I'm putting a horse. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 bang, bang. <laughs> what was at the OK Corral? <laughs> the whole thing about res dog, bro. Res dogs, when the fucking, that Indian spirit shows up to that fucking yeah. kid, he tells them, I was in a battle. Oh, oh. <laughs> but my horse hit a snake hole and I fell and I cracked my head open. Oh, oh. Then we made it to the bottle. Oh, oh. Yeah, he died before the battle started, right? Yeah. yeah. That's a, such a good show. It's coming out, coming back soon, second season. Yeah, I think. Was, dog Face is on the Yeah, he yeah, was watching it. Yeah. 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 filmed it. That's fucking tight. That's I want to cool. hang out and get high with a little two little fools. Like. Those fools are cool, bro. Those guys were in Oklahoma City. We On the little bikes? Them. Next yeah. time we have to invite them. Or they're something. bad. They were huh? filming when we were there, I think. They're trying to, yeah, they were filming while yeah. you were there, but they're trying to get famous, those two dudes. They're rappers. They're funny, they're man. Funny, yeah. dude, yeah. yeah. Dude, they're characters of little dudes, man. You watch the show, right? Hell yeah. yeah. The fucking right. Hansy from Fargo, he's so good dude. in that show. Dude. And then he, he said, hi. Because yeah. <laughs> so the, the one that plays funny. a cop, I was tripping out because he's the one that comes out. Yeah, yeah Hansy. I was like, yeah. dude, he's, he, dude he's, he's a, a badass actor, actor, dude. man. Badass, he's so good. Dude. The cast is cool. The dude. way he kills this fool on that show, oh, my God. The bro, kids are so it. good in yeah, that show. It's are. just such a perfect show. So happy. It's yeah, amazing. podcast, bro. Yeah, man, podcast. We don't have any new episodes, only the 79th episode. But I got some unlocked that I'm going to be putting out, and this should be out by next week. Just a lot of shit going on right now. Hey, doggy, doggy. A lot of shit. Oh my god, bro! Our dog been sleeping with us now. Oh, the new dog, latte. What's her dog, name? Toffee. Well, toffee. Her, toffee. Her, her, ta- her name is technically Latte, but we've been calling her latte. Toffee. Her name's oh. gonna be Toffee, and we're gonna adopt her soon. And uh, oh, you guys are just cute. like warming her up that way. Warming she can her be, up. Be all like you know cozy at the house, move around how she wishes yeah, or she's, whatever. She's slowly oh. getting into it, but she's getting better every she, day. She, uh, how old is she? They think she's about five. Five. So she's a she's a young dog. You guys gonna yeah, be yeah, but a, she's also she acts like a puppy though because. 
whoever had her first, like they sent her to a re another rescue when they first got her. And she was like a year old. And they said, oh, we have the perfect family. So they sent her to this family. But the family kept like an e-collar on her, which burned her neck a oh, lot. Oh, God, shit. Bro. And they kept her in a crate Feed and also it. drugged. So she would like calm down. All, you uh -huh. know, like they just didn't understand. The basically giving like what yeah, they do to kids. Um, yeah. So oh my God. she was in a crate, but not like a big crate. She was in like a travel crate oh, for wow. all that time. So she just hasn't been able to run and have be part of a family yeah. and a household. So she's wow. getting used to all that. It's going to take time. But she's more well trained than our other dogs. She just kind right. of forgot it when she got to I just seen house. her that one day we walked over there she looked all elegant she's over there in the back. Yeah. <laughs> nice she's, coat on her she's actually beautiful like she's got behavioral like issues which she'll overcome but we all do but she's beautiful and she's oh, striking yeah. she'll be yeah. attacking little toys bro she's beautiful I love her she's I can't give her back now so I yeah. think we're gonna have to adopt her so what's up full podcast we have lisa sparza from the enchilada casserole podcast which we haven't done a new one for we've been so busy and then our dog died poor henry Aww. and everything so there's been going? a lot of stuff isaac graduated <laughs> I, felipe had a we're looking for a car for isaac looking now for a car what? for isaac he got a job i'm like just he's, tripping out that he's it's weird he's seeing him as a little kid in like, like a two-week period little man he found a job at an old folks' home. Yeah, he oh, found it. Cool. Yeah, he's gonna be like adult, receptionist oh, yeah. there. He's learning CPR for that. And hey, kid, how old are you? He's gonna start music oh, school in the fall. You have a lot of charisma. Oh, cool. Yeah, lots of stuff happening. I'm just so fucking busy. It's I went crazy. to Universal Studios. Oh, your oh, birthday, huh? Dude, Universal Studios is cool, right? I love it, doggy dog. Yeah, we weren't. We were gonna have a party and stuff, but then Henry, we had to put him down, uh, so we just didn't feel like doing anything. So we went to Universal. We didn't really do much. We chilled. Is it the mummy at least? La momia. No, we didn't mummy do the ride? mummy this time. But we got the fast pass, which was so worth it. Oh my god. Because fuck lines, man. The sea of yeah, this fast dude. pass was nice. The fast pass is awesome Better. at uh, Universal. Yeah. And not, not so much at Disneyland, but I yeah. Really like <laughs> Disney oh my god, anyway, dude! But, yeah. I got in. I, we got into the the tram fast. Oh, it was so fast. We, we got, got into on the first, uh, Jurassic the Park up, fast. Right on there. All the rides fast. We got like five rides. Yeah, we got on like five rides and we left at like 1.30 or yeah, something. You, know, you guys went early then. Yeah, we went early. We, we got like there early, bro. We were there in Paris having a coffee oh, in Paris. Oh, <laughs> it was croissants. It was nice. And cappuccino, bro, with all high shit. <laughs> Hell then yeah, we, went, we got a Minion ride after that. That's a cool ride. Bro, there was a lot of people, bro, that could, like tirados, bro. It's cause, dude, it was hot that day, no? It was hot, oh dude. My, and right there, the sun just shining on that hill, burning bro. your neck, bro. Ah. Bro, the worst part about it for me is the rest of um, of um, black necks matter. The <laughs> worst part for me is um, going down that es escalator of death. That escalator might as well taking you all the way to Cahuenga, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it takes you down to Lancashire, basically. That shit's that steep, huh? It catches, snags your shoe in that. It's over, bro. They're taking the foot, bro. Yeah, man, and. It was, man, it's I don't, it was, it's good, bro. If you like the Simpsons, the Simpsons badass. Yeah, man. Hell but yeah. I don't know how that works since F Simpsons owned by Fox now, right? Well, it's weird because it's yeah, the distribution Simpsons deal maybe is owned or something? by Fox, which is owned by Disney. Disney. Yeah, so I think it's like and they own Marvel and all that stuff. Which is so strange because they are Universal. They're filmed. I think Universal Studios is the producer of the show and the movie. It might just be the movie. Mm. Because I don't know if they produce the show. So uh, Disney owns the whole because uh, they they show their but things on Disney. Of, but I think it's like old contracts that like you know they have to is. be there until like you know they get it rid of. Them, I think. I mean, same thing like how. Uh, but the it used Simpsons to be. ride is the best thing there. I always started opinion. off with it, dude. That's a it's that drop. Run. Oh my god! You think you're yeah. not you're not gonna get up, bro? You think but you're gonna slam? We got think about because before it used to be well, like Back to the Future, then the Terminator and stuff like that. I never I never experienced Back to the Future. Bro, they got rid of those right. Or ET, which he talks about all the time. The first time I went to a sequel. Dude, the first time I went to the, uh, Universal Studio was with my family and my cousins and my uncles. We, there was a fucking six million dollar six million dollar man stunt show. Oh, and yeah. they taught you on the sound stage how they did. Dun, 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 dun. That was the old show, right? And the A-Team. The A-Team stunt I've show. I've seen the A-Team one. Dude, the Water I've World stunt show is a hundred times better than the Water World movie, bro. Yeah, I've seen that shit too. That's just tight. I've never been to Universal Studios. Never, fool. Where you been you? At, dog? I've never been. Out of everybody, I thought you'd be like. I've a, never been baptized. I've never, never gone Marvel to Universal Marching Studios over there, bro. dude. 
<laughs> you never been to Universal? Oh, well, you guys have to take you for your oh, birthday. Oh, you have to go next time with us. Never oh, man. That's Jurassic Park, the ride is different now, dude. As soon as you get there now, they have a, a, like a fake green screen that actually looks like an aquarium. And you see that these dinosaurs are in the water. <clears throat> And then they smash into the glass and they squirt water at you, bro. Really? Like, like, like it's an actual animal. Yeah, like they, well, they smash into the, like the come at you. aquarium glass. And so the water. Bro, and when King Kong flies over, having a fight, King Kong is fighting with these fucking T Rexes. He's throwing them. So when he throws them against the, it looks like he throws them against the tram and the track. The tram moves. Tram shakes. So it looks like that fool hits you. And then when fucking King Kong it walks over them. us, it's, it pushes us down like he walked over us, bro. It's badass. <laughs> you feel the wind and so you you're feel a, like you're the in a movie, waters, dude. So you're yeah. in a movie, dog, and and fucking um, I always recommend you not lose your glasses because <laughs> you can't see I shit. lost the motherfucker, bro, the first time, and I, I didn't it's see shit. <laughs> <laughs> we took, to we took his niece with us. And she was what six or yeah, seven? Gia. Gia, we took her. She, she cried. She made it to the outside. We went. We made it all through the tour. We got to the outside of the King Kong tunnel, and she goes, oh, "I don't know about this." Ah. <laughs> she got all scared. She got so scared that it shut off. No way. She did it with her mind. I'm pretty sure it was like fire starter. Laws or something. of attraction, dude. She stopped the ride. She's. I've met. We've been on that tour twenty times. Of times. It never stopped. It stopped because she was so scared. She stopped it with her mind. Wow. And we went through, wait, Carried we went back around blood, huh? and tried to do it again, and it didn't work again. She was so scared. She was like, I don't want to go through. I don't want to go through. Wow. She was so scared because you hear a little bit of drums. Yeah, bro, like, fire started. Like, you the hear like conga mentalist. drums and stuff, but she did with her mind. Telekinesis, she stopped dude. Yeah, she stopped the bro, whole thing. nobody knew who Frankenstein was. Never. Are you oh, serious? He's such an old character, too, huh? <laughs> old school. I Gen took a Z photo of him, huh? bro. <laughs> I took a picture with Homer Simpson, and he was a fan, bro. He's like, he gave me a big hug. Oh, yeah? Oh, shit. <laughs> Nobody got that. Oh, also, I was too fat for the fucking Harry Potter ride again. Still, fool? Still. I thought, dude, fuck those fools, dude. I thought you, this time you would be able to mack it, dude. Yeah, this time he tried it. He didn't come even close. I can't matter. play that little game no more, bro. <laughs> yeah. You went on the first time, though. Yeah. That's a badass you know ride, bro. I think it was just they didn't test back then. They didn't like Pack? have a, a, a um, determining factor of what. Well, someone was. recently died. That's just super huge, I can see. It's not, it's not the bigness. It's not the width. For you, it's your shoulder height. Because your shoulder height, it comes down. No, seriously. My torso. No, because when you pull, you have a big booty, bro. The, the tester is when you pull the thing into the lock position. Right? I always manipulate my body, bro. But it won't. I know. Here, right? I, mean, I, I think if you could, you could Houdini, like bro. squat like, down or slide down a little bit. And you're, <laughs> That's how you fucked with your back, bro. I <laughs> tried to get I thought I was getting into my car, trying bro. Trying to get into log jammer and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but if you got on and like scooted down or something, I think you could trick it. That's she, she told That's me. That's how I did it. Bro, that, lady was, that lady knows all the, that little, that little chick knew all the tricks. So don't slouch. <laughs> yeah, because you can't have them look at you because they're looking for stuff. I see her. I know and I you like, can't. You gotta keep her away. You gotta keep her away. I'm gonna bring my own green light yeah. next time, bro. Because that shit locked, and then she came by and tried to move it. I was like, yeah. yeah I'm, gonna try a, to move I'm gonna bring it. a fake green light up. <laughs> it's a badass ride, dude. Bro, every ride at ride. Universal Studio is you when you walk out, you walk into gift the shop, gift huh? shop, bro. Oh hell yeah, you get of that ride. I saw Disneyland is too, man. Bro, you know how many times you gotta tell your kids no here. Yeah, close your eyes. Like you know. No! I brought a wand, a wand right there at Harry Potter. It was used once. <laughs> <laughs> I remember doing my... I went, but I, I took Universal Studios. Yeah. He said it's yeah. been a long time since he's uh, been. Long ass time. So you, we were there like E.T. The, the ride. When you were little, bro. We, I was there with E.T. stuff. Yes, me and Philip. Me and Philip, we got in the E.T. bikes. And um, fuck yeah. yeah. I wish off. I was alive. During, or I was and we alive went to the during, Mummy I show. I was here during oh, yeah. that. That was actually bad. We Joy Medina and his fake family. Well, his family. Oh, yeah. TV family? Like, yeah. <laughs> the girlfriend at the time I think Ruby Quintana got us tickets, bro. He used to work over there, no? Yeah. Yeah, well, fuck. Yeah, because when, when Philip was there, when I took Philip, Universal still had a deal with Marvel. And all those super, they had oh, a Marvel restaurant. There. And I took Philip for his birthday. Captain America was there, Spider Man, the Hulk, and Thor. Damn, dude. But now, 
And now they're not owned by Universal, bro. If they're all Disney. Uh, right Thor's now. all taking a chicken strip. Hey, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Spider Man will show up and say, Happy birthday, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing commercials when I was little. Like, uh, I was like, I want to go so bad. And you see the King Kong, the old King Kong ride with the actual robot. Is it still the robot now? I don't even know. There's no King Kong ride. When I was a no. kid. Oh, well, there's a tunnel you go through with the King Kong and. Uh, not Jurassic Park, but King Kong and dinosaurs, uh, oh, fighting, like yeah. fighting over. But the old one was like the, the ride, right? The King Kong robot that would like kind of no grab robot. the car. But back in the day, right? I, I think it was just like in the beginning. Know. There was a hand that oh, grabbed the car. Okay, yeah. It wasn't like not when I was there. But um, uh, I remember when I was a kid, it was all about Back to the Future and then the car from Knight Terminator? Rider. Kid. Oh, that's Everybody. the old. That's the old King oh, yeah. Kong. Nah, yeah, bro, yeah. it ain't robot, like that right? no more. No, no, that was no. a robot. I yeah, yeah. I, I got in that shit too. You got that shit too, right, Philip? Yeah. That was a ride. It was a, ride. It, it, it was a tram, uh-huh. and um, it was. I, old, I think this is what they robot. did, bro. It was like one of the jib arms. They like added the king. They added the King Kong to the earthquake, because oh. King Kong would show up like this with a hand, and then like start fucking shit up. Then the earthquake will start, and the next one and the yeah. water. I've never seen. But that shit looked real, bro. It was scary. It looks scary. Yeah. To me, it looked, like, it looked like a scene in an action movie, dude. But but that hand will lift the car. Yeah, man. Damn, dude. I'm really What's like- up, fool? Universal should be giving us money. Uh-huh. Yeah, promotion right here, dude. Your, mom, your mom's so but fat. But you know, <laughs> as a fucking actor, you know, comedian, when we do the tour, over here, they shoot. Murder, she wrote. They shoot this. And like, and like, you like, and like, you, and like, and like, and like I remember I got lost in that building, bro, trying to find an audition. <laughs> I know. It was funny. I, I asked Felipe because it was his birthday. I said, you want to go to the, like, the special VIP tour because they give you a tour of the back lot? And he goes, what do I want to see? These places where I didn't get an audition? <laughs> I didn't book an audition? Did get the role? Oh, here's where this one thing uh, filmed and you didn't get it. Maybe they'll plug me out of the tram. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we like your look. Am I, <laughs> I can't just book something. There was, a, there was this guy, man, with his kids overexcited about everything happening. Like more than the kids? More oh, than the kids. he was oh right God. next to us. He was like, oh, when they said it was like the murder she wrote said or whatever. Oh. I love Angela Lansbury. And the kids were just like waiting for the next King Kong Bro, section. They, they just saw a guy running with a knife and we were leaving. <laughs> and other little kids, bye, Norman. The psycho movie, yeah. I love when there's a part when you get to a, a Universal, there's a the psycho house, and then they show the actual Norman, the Bates base hotel. hotel. Exactly the same. And Norman, nice. you can see Norman putting a body in front of the car when he chases with a knife. Sometimes, not always. Not, a, not, always. not that, always. But yeah. I always see when you don't see that, it's like, fuck, they gypped you, bro. Yeah. Fuck Where's yeah, dog. At? He's taking a lunch break, bro. Yeah. Dress out here and he go used, throw he that runs body in the after car. after the last car. You should tram, be out there, right? homie. Yeah. <laughs> and they, they, have, they have to be a Jaws. Or I'm not. I'm going to have my money back, dog. So, so there is there no tour in Orlando? Hell no, it uh, sucks. Have you ever I been, been to Orlando? I've been there, no we've tour. Been. There's no tour at no all. No tour. Because there's no real sense I was there. mad. I got free yeah. tickets and I was mad. But it's, it's not as good as LA's. <laughs> really? Nothing to see, bro. Because Orlando's Disney is way I better than the best. Here. California <laughs> number one. That's but it. Orlando has like rides and stuff, right? At the Universal? Different it just rides. This isn't as and... happening. No. Really? It's more spread out. When I went for grad night to Disneyland, Disney World, sorry, it was it was pretty good but then we had to we chose they chose epcot center over universal i like epcot yeah. which is so fucking stupid epcot is dumb epcot is like a it's for foodies Bro. i think epcot <laughs> is like a a place for like corporate trade shows in and stuff. Um, orlando it is. in orlando they don't, they, in florida they have a thing called god's land and it's all biblical it's, a, it's like a biblical oh, no. amusement park is and, like praise land praise like land t- it's like uh, it's like a roller yeah, coaster they're all, they're all biblical stuff, and Jesus walks around like Mickey Mouse, taking photos with people, bro, like that. <laughs> is how is that the day that Tammy Phil's trying to build? Like Man, that? Uh, well, that was they had they had the uh, there I it think is. It was praise. I That's think it right it there. Pra- pra- hey, praise land Simpsons. That's no, put cheesy. put a God's land in Orlando. Did you guys see the Tammy and, Faye movie? Like they have a roller coaster called the House of Sin. I didn't see that movie, but. There were, years ago, probably twelve years ago, I saw a documentary called The Eyes of Tammy Faye, it's which exact- was. 
basically what this movie is based on. It's funny. It's it's funny. It's good. And in that movie, they start to do like they want to. They're doing a photo shoot, and the woman is like, "Oh, I want to do a whole makeover for you." And I thought we'd go with like less makeup and all this. She's like, "Okay." And so she starts trying to take off the makeup, and she's like, "Oh, that's tattooed on, honey." And like her lip liner was tattooed on. It was bad too. That's crazy. Sad. I think it's on Netflix. It's good. Yeah. What's up, full podcast? Next week we have two sponsors. I think we just have dad grass next week. Brand okay, new well, we're going to give you some of that stuff for your back, bro. Dad grass. Let me know. Oh, yeah. I, I worked on that. Lisa's foot. Well, and on my working. hemorrhoids. The tincture was Went away. Um, the, also, uh, we have HelloFresh coming up. But we have uh, next week, uh, Rafael Agustin. Agustin, he has a new book. Oh, cool. Hell he's been yeah. on before. Yeah, Hell he's yeah. been on before. Hell yeah, that's mm-hmm. awesome. So uh, don't forget, people, this week I'm in Pittsburgh. Next week I'm in um, South Padre Island. July 7th through the 10th, Brea, California. We might have a show. Look out for that. July 16th, Omaha, Nebraska. We're bringing Toby Hicks back. Oh, shit. Come July back, 28th yo. through the 31st, Portland, Oregon. August 4th through the 6th, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Tickets at FelipeWorld.com. Brea Improv. We're bringing Toby Hicks. Hell yeah. Anything else? That's it. Thank you very much for listening, man. What's up, fool? Rodrigo Torres, Lisa yeah, Esparza, Rizzo Barcena. <laughs> and thanks, Jeff Mo, for the products. Yeah, man. Hey. Is Philadelphia? What's up, fool? What's up?